for real? It's all part of the culture war, polarizing folks towards alt-right beliefs. What the? Hold on. Not liking Marvel TV shows, hating blacks. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. I'm trying to find where the threads connect. Ryan Kennel. I'm trying to find. <laughs> that's that's no, that thread just leads straight to misogyny. There you I, go. I'm calling out the MCU, uh, which was, I mean, trying to defend the black male character that they cucked in Falcon Winter Soldier and the uh, Asian male character that they completely cucked because, well, it was well cast. Let's yeah. be honest about that. Well, I, but, had no I got this for Black Widow. They were, they were like, oh, yes, uh, the next female-led film and you fucking yeah. hate it and make it and i was like in that video you'll find i'm a big fan of black widow <laughs> like it's yep. kind of the point yeah but yeah it was like, the know. film part that they didn't like but the character yeah you, you established how well you'd like the character at the start it's why i made the video i was annoyed that they ruined it if i didn't care about it i'd have been like well whatever it's a yeah. shitty movie i think i specifically say in my video they took characters we used to love and fuck them up yeah, and they keep doing it. Oh, uh, this is my favorite argument. Then just don't watch it. <laughs> hey, they're saying that in defense of Gary, it looks like. No, I don't, I'm not too sure. Hold on. Watch it simply because you do not like this opinion. Oh, okay. Don't watch the video. Okay. But it, we've, we've kind of heard don't. If you don't like it, why'd you watch it? But we, we kind of have YouTube channels that deal with this sort of thing. So it's kind of cool content. Now don't watch it simply because you don't like his opinion doesn't give you the right to knock down what he does. He has tons of views I don't necessarily agree with. However, why should that stop him from being able to feed his family? Wow, normal person. Thank wow. you. That's a normal response. Nice, normal Start, response. Started off weird. Person. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried now that Elon owns Twitter that it's only going to get worse. Owned yes, past tense. <laughs> Do you know what my one of my favorite things I heard yesterday was I've been thinking about leaving Twitter for a while now. And since Elon's bought Twitter, I think it's about time. And I'm just like, if you've been thinking about leaving Twitter for a long time, had nothing to do with Elon. Because yeah. this has been the far left fucking echo chamber for five, six years now. Well, like, one of those common sentiments I've seen go around is like, well, Twitter is horrible, so maybe this will make things better. <laughs> yeah, it can't get any worse. I see that all the time. I'll, I'll say. Maybe. It's Gamergate all over again. The <laughs> shitty sequel yeah. no one wanted. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. Oh, my God. They just have, like, this one note. They just don't know how to analyze anything beyond their own framing. Uh, well, all I know is that Gary's dangerous. And he's uh, step one towards the alt right. Uh, obviously, action figures all over my wall. N nothing says danger like a bunch of dolls on a guy's wall. Let me tell you that right now. Do you like being told as a as a random viewer that you are susceptible to just becoming evil because you watch like any yeah. random YouTuber? That as though question. that's where they're always going. Mahler is their audience is so dumb. I'm like, and then they complain, well, especially when it's other content creators who can't get the traction after calling somebody's entire uh, the fellow audience that we share dumb i think well people can figure stuff out for themselves uh, i did actually reply to this one. Ah. <laughs> uh <clears throat> criticizing criticizing marvel's blatant identity politics is step one to the alt-right <laughs> <laughs> Do people like this actually hear themselves and how stupid they sound? Well, Look, by the way, can, I'm, I'm not trying to take the piss, but you're doing the typical a smarky smark, yeah, face, you know, which just says everything to be. Uh, Wait, to be does honest. she have like pronouns in bio? Oh, back. Yeah, uh, nerd, back. huge. Nerd. Oh, okay, sorry, pride flag. Start okay. off with all right. Ally, that's her They're identity. An ally. All right. Uh, pride flag, huge nerd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Owns pop. And public opinion haver. So she's allowed to have public opinions. You're not allowed to have, not, but yeah. your opinions are a step towards the alt right. Yeah. Hers is a step so towards hers enlightenment. Is okay. uh, host yeah. <laughs> of At Geeks of the Week. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, something else. Of a podcast. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's where it ends right there. Yeah. That's where it ends. I want to be talking about Marvel stuff, and I want everybody to come to my Marvel opinions, and they're not because they're probably not very good at, and informed. Huge nerd with Ooh. a fucking 10 pop vinyls and a t-shirt and oh, second-hand no. Wikipedia knowledge. Not the probably pop vinyls. Even lofty pixels. Can Just we crazy. reply to Ethan Trace with this meme? <laughs> 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 they need to they need to like draw a vision of me laughing like yeah <laughs> yeah you need a big need a ha, 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 all around it like joker you know ha, ha, yeah. ha. it's kind of perfect that almost there though i mean it's almost there it's i like how you just for... gave the, the the white power sim symbol when you said that almost there it's almost oh uh, yeah <laughs> okay a pipeline a pipeline Oh no! Um. Oh wait. Okay, I had I had a I had an email, but it wasn't from from Twitter saying yes or no. It was from Sideshow saying we're sending you more crap. In the oh God! <laughs> yeah. Everything's like they're shipping oh. everything, and now and then after that, everything's gonna get delayed because of the petrol Ooh. crisis. Uh, Look at his dick. Yeah. Oh my fucking wow. god. Yeah. That's In this light, like it, when it's reflected <laughs> against there, it's like, what? What? how do you circumcise Superman? That's what I want to know. Oh, there's something there. Oh, there's definitely something there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a there's a penis. There. Stop feeling it. <laughs> oh, Stop feeling god. Superman's penis. That's a pink haired Asian <laughs> uh, Look at look at this though. This is a. Uh, that's a, this is a beaut. You must work out. Gorgeous. This is a. This feels like the the ultra muscly Fison male body. Yeah, I I've got well the penisless one. I've got the eunuch one for Conan. <laughs> I want to see this giant fucking cock and balls hanging out from the eunuch. Oh my god! He's a Superman. Now, now <laughs> he's not like called him. Superman for nothing, is he? Yeah, that's right. Wow. That's now, right. now we know. See, now we know he definitely does break Lois Lane's pelvis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we're going to have a Johnny Depp, Amber heard S situation with oh. Superman and Lois. He just, he, oh, he just goes no. to Wonder Woman when he really needs to let go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he, yeah. yeah. The full He's release. done that. He's been there. He's done that. <laughs> just saying. I don't, I don't want to think about that. I like Superman. <laughs> with but there's, there's, now that's a Wonder Woman right there. That's a fucking Ooh. wonderful. Look oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hips, nice and curvaceous. Is that Such Alex a cool Ross? cover. Cover. That is an Alex. This is all. This is all Alex Ross. This is Alex mm. Ross Justice. It's fucking great. Uh oh yeah yeah yeah. We'll talk about that later. This is great shit. I'll stick that up for later. The Northman's white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> Nina! Oh my god, yes, I was just, right before I oh, got you I was, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just on the Northman, real quick. I, I just want to point out that the Turks went to Iceland all the fucking time to get white slaves. I was just watching a video on it right before we got on. Like all the time. Never gets mentioned. Sorry. Off to me. That's step two, folks. N Nina's uh, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Nina was totally enslaving Icelandic uh, people as part of uh the Persian slash ottoman empires over years and years and then hey they used to sell them back though at least they were honorable about it they're like if you give us money we'll get we'll give them back uh it's true we did and you know what i do not take responsibility for that no. <laughs> you're not wow i really? am uh yeah sorry i want you to give reparations to Bjork. to Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> yes Oh, she she survived a stalker. She can survive much more. Oh, she did. Oh, that's that's not fun. Oh, sorry. Actually, Nini, before you before you do go, I got to mm. show one more thing. Okay. I mean, the first thing you showed was pretty amazing. Hey! Oh, it's a my drink drinker. arrived today. Detach the bottle. Oh, you can det you can detach the bottle. Oh, look at that. Oh. 
it's a sober drinker. It's drinker. It's just, no. It's AA drinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to take him to AA one. <laughs> We're going to sober uh, him. Oh, wow. That looked a bit. That do bottle that doesn't look yeah, great. You did that for a different angle. That, yeah. Um, oh, no. <laughs> that, that bottle might be a little problematic. <laughs> it's, it's the critical drinker on the real BBC. Wow. It's a bottle of ale. What are you talking about? Weirdo. Yeah, weirdo. Oh my god. So yeah, this is uh this is awesome. So I've got my rags, I've got my molly, I've got my dranker. <sighs> and we are in discussions now to make Friday night tight plushies. Oh little plushies. Little plushies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does Ryan feel about being turned into a plushie? Probably the same way he feels about sunsets and everything else. Angry. <laughs> yeah, angry. <laughs> he hates it. Um, yeah. Nina, well, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, As? I'm fine. How good. are you? Good. I'm good. I'm very thankful to Gary and Mrs. Nerd Roddy because they sent me a bunch of swag. And it's awesome. So I'm sporting all the stuff. And they, nice. they sent me some coffee, which um, is amazing because I couldn't get it shipped to Mexico. And then they they sent me some. Ooh. And now I'm like, I don't really want to drink it because it's like, it's special. And I won't be able to get it anymore. So I'm like, I'll just have to like frame this or something later. But there's so many stickers and little cute things. Look at the little pin. I got a little nerd product. Pin. so cute oh that's our hundred thousand pin right yes it's a hundred k uh, pin it's uh, so cute i love it i love all the stuff so thank you so much for the care package and uh, i just put out a crazy video about um andy dick so if you guys want to go check that out at, after the show go for it because he's crazy and yeah, i he's... had to make a video on that <laughs> he's not gonna live very long no, no. especially think, the way he's it... going was it Friday Night Tights we spoke about him, or was it a real BBC we spoke about him? It must have been Friday Night Tights because I wasn't there. I think it was Friday Night Tights. Mm. Yeah, we. Speaking yeah, of we... Friday Night Tights, I got this too. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yay! Hey, 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 hey. ah, yay! Yeah. Cheers, Gary. Cheers. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. So delicious. Mm. It's really good. Those white supremacist tears. Yours is coming. Mm. You're getting a mug just like that. Okay, you're getting a mug. You're getting some coffee. You're plus you're getting a Robin. Aww. You got a Robin coming. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be coming, but he'll be on his wow. what, what on his does. boyfriend's face. He's so going to cool. come when he meets that Superman. Seriously? I maybe I missed this. Did you see Kyle Dunnigan's like latest mashup video with Stallone's favorites towards the end? And it's like my favorite superheroes that. Turned queer. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We need to, oh, right, we need to play that. We, we need, need to watch later. this. It's so good. <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds I, great. Uh, Nearly had Superman coming earlier. Yeah. 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 Robin's gonna come when he meets him. It's gonna be great. And uh, Optimus Prime. Yes. And Optimus Prime. And Optimus. No, there's one more. I got three. Oh, yeah. That's a surprise. Maybe it's a surprise. Oh! Yeah, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Mm -mm. I got two of something. That's what she said. Oh. Nope. Oh. 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 What? Oh. Hitting the wrong button. No, that was that was. Oh wow! I that not, was not I just good timing. It was also oh. enthusiastic as well. Which what the is, hell? Uh, mm. That oh. went off without me touching the button. That That's weird. what she said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for it, wait for it. The British people are celebrating. <laughs> Where's your trigger? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, all right, when, all right, Christine. That's when she's getting desperate, I guess. Oh, the, oh. Hey, by the way, before we introduce Morley Wally, um, did any of you notice that uh, your followers on Twitter have gone up exponentially uh, yeah. yesterday? Yes, by I a have. Thousand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed. It's like, it's like I got, mine went up by like 450, which is just like, normally it's like 10. Because <laughs> oh, the throttle was on and they released the throttle, 
shit just wonder how youtube would act if they did the same fucking mm. thing <laughs> mola how you doing oh, i'm doing good how are you i'm all right thank you how are you just been just been doing my thing you know it's been it's been hanging out watching some stuff seeing some highlight clips of different events happening in the world hmm appreciating good old good old media multiverse of madness coming out soon guys Woo! No wait, British clap. Yeah, I don't like. <laughs> woo, woo. You mean WandaVision kills the Marvel universe? Well, uh, already dead, Barry. That uh, did you guys see that? It was like in, in an IMAX trailer or something. They Wanda didn't Wanda. chop her out of um of a particular shot, so it's it's like done now. That she, yeah, she's attacking Doctor Strange. They they they've kept that out of all trailers, but there's one where they made a mistake, just like with Spider Man when they fucked up one of the uh. One of the foreign trailers, I think it yep. was. I didn't um, see that, but I did see uh, an article going around saying that the movie's banned in Saudi Arabia now because of America Chavez. <laughs> well, Disney's apparently like... Dis Disney have said, no, we are not going to chop out those 12 seconds. Hmm, yeah. I wonder if China asked them to do that. Would they say the same thing? Yeah, just, no, they like, did. Yeah, they I already did. refused. They said no. How much is it worth that they... Will oh, now China be like, oh China yes, China, I, uh... China wasn't allowing. <laughs> China wasn't allowing Doctor Strange. <laughs> Gary, why is that such a perfect image of you? <laughs> <laughs> it just fits. In actual fact, why is this just a perfect image of all three of us here? This is uh, kind of scary. Incredibly well photoshopped. Not exactly, oh, no. not exactly my body shape, but that maybe the uniform. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those trousers look a bit big for you, mate. Uh, yeah, I also don't like stand knobby need. So yeah, I stand like a man. I stand like a man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, like the uniform, sure, no problem. That that looks kind of dope. I'd wear that for a party. I would too. Next Halloween. <laughs> Just like a. <gasps> Fucking How long have we got until Friday Night Tights is 200? Is it 200? Uh, we're at 197 this Friday. Oh, oh damn. Uh, three more episodes. Uh, somebody. Well, yeah. We're, we're like four episodes away. That's awesome. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I'm going to hit the wrong button right. again. Oh. With, with British undertones. There you go. Yeah, I can control the volume. I can't. Well, I can, but I can, turn it, even, I can turn it even even lower. Yeah, that's your only option. That's how it works in Britain. Why can't we get a soundboard that has sounds and does echo? Oh, there probably is one out there. I just didn't strangers get it. in the night exchanging clothing like that. <clears throat> Justice. Justice. The whole book is like this, folks. It's all. Oh, pink. it's all Alex Ross. It's all Alex Ross. The whole series. Very, very good. Let's look at this. Uh, do you know that they've just put out an Alex Ross Shazam one in six? Oh, they story. did. Uh, is it uh, third party? Yeah, and it looks fucking epic. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well. Uh, I know. Right I'm banned from buying toys at the minute. Yep. I'm banned myself. Who cut you off? <laughs> my brother. My brother's just like, until we get the fucking toys in this house sorted, <laughs> no more. And I was like, okay. No, he's like, no, you promised me no more. I'm like, okay. So, I mean, he wasn't doing it in a nasty way. He was like, oh. no, but I need you to promise me. Well, he's coming I over said, to okay. help you. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But there's some Lego coming tomorrow. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think that's what I said to him, though. I was like, okay, but there's some Lego coming tomorrow. <laughs> Look, I've ordered some stuff previously. Okay. Like, yeah. It's not my fault. No, he said, he said, anything that's ordered, fine. Oh, look Damn. at those. That looks so cool. Nice. I love that. That is nice. A, the 90s adaption uh, by uh, Chuck Dixon. I also got. 
Oh. oh. Hard to find. Um, I've always had the graphic novel forever. I'm like, you know, I want the original comics now. So I got them. They're dope. Uh, Eclipse Books. Adapted by Chuck Dixon and David oh. Wenzel. Oh. And it, is, it is straight from the book. Uh, he, you know has to cut some stuff out because it's three books, but these are fucking awesome. And the only comic book adaptations ever of any of Tolkien's work, official, official. Uh, that oh. might change with uh, Amazon, but. Um... Yay. Chuck Dixon, the man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Manny, that guy, that guy. Whoa. He can write front to back a comic. Yep. He knows how to make it fun, interesting uh emotional he can do it all can chuck dixon he can do it all it's quite funny speaking of comic book creators and comic book writers how many of them were yesterday saying now that elon musk <laughs> has bought twitter we're gonna go and i'm just thinking that's good for you bye felicia that's good bye, maybe you'll felicia. start fucking working you know maybe you can get on with some work and actually do something no I, they're they're gonna go somewhere else and bitch um, maybe well, I'm reckoning mo most of the retards going to go to TikTok. They're already on there. Well, that's just the current retards. There's now going to be an influx of <laughs> nouveau, influx. nouveau yeah. retard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's one of those new nouveau retards here. I'm too TikTok. crotchety to understand TikTok. I'm like, no. no um, you literally, you, you, you. Press play, and then all the things that you should keep quiet, you blurt out your mouth. Yeah. Oh. I'm too much of a boomer. I can't. And it's also it. owned by the Chinese government. Yeah, I'm just, uh, no, no thanks. I just wanted to go the way of Vine, where I ignored it, and then it disappeared. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, it kind of is Vine, right? Uh, but the Vine, it's like, way really... more retarded than Vine. <laughs> okay, yeah, but the, it attracts like lots of kids. Like Vine, like attracted a lot of kids. Isn't yeah. Vine where people like the Logan Brothers got famous? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's Logan where Brothers, uh, Chris Reagan? No, or did he? Was he YouTube? Who came from Vine? Who else came from Vine? So it's something. Lily, didn't Lily? Lily Smash Brothers come did from Lily's Vine as well. Uh. I don't know. Bunch of weirdos. I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. Wasn't it? It was Instagram that bought. Fun. When I was watching YouTube in the early days, I wasn't watching like H three H three. Like I wasn't watching Ethan Klein. I was watching like Gavin McGinnis. I was watching all kinds of dudes. No, I was watching Vape Nation. And I was watching yeah, Vape Nation. And uh, and UFO videos like UFO Bigfoot. You can find them easily. Remember when you could find those things easily? Yes, I do. I, Dude, was I was watching game and movie back. reviews, but back then you had like very few people as sources very on few. that. Well, like comic book cast, right? That's like one of the ones I remember watching back in the day. And and like his videos are like the same, <laughs> same fucking thing. Very consistent, kind of like Charlie and Emergency Awesome. That's another I'm one. Playing, I'm playing World of Warcraft and doing WoW videos. Oh, where are you? And then what? Then watching Vape Nation. I found What's one of the most Vape Nation. Sorry, Molly. you've never seen Ethan Vape Nation is actually the funniest thing Ethan Klein's ever done in his life. Oh, okay. So it's Ethan Klein stuff. All right. Yeah. It's when he was actually wanting to entertain you and be funny. You mean the guy who betrayed his entire audience because he got tired of them or didn't want to be in that, or by the way, wanted to be safe with Mama Susan. Yeah. Mama yeah. Susan probably <clears throat> whispered in his ear, Hey, get rid of your audience. We'll take care of you. Well, well and then and then he did it again to that same audience. <laughs> <laughs> and they, now he's lost all of his sponsors on his podcast. Has yeah. it like I'm not even trying to be hyperbolic. Is there a better example of someone being hoisted by their own petard sort of situation? Like not really. Uh there's a close example. Well, there's close. DSP. Right? Well, the, the, I don't know. I don't think this because DSP is like smaller scale. Like H three sure. destroyed all of his own sponsorships. It's just like nice. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a guy who went after people's sponsors as well. Yeah, that's, what, that's kind of what I'm suggesting is yeah. that he didn't lose them because of like anyone else coming after him. It's his own fault. It's his own undoing. 
Well, woke on woke crime, though. That's the funny part. That's hilarious. Well, it and, happens all the time, right? It's and Jordan B. Peterson like, called it. He said this was going to oh, yeah. happen. It is being I, nice. I was just surprised um, it happened so quickly after he posted yeah, it. It was like a month. Like yeah. a week man. later. So he's fucking like, wow. Yeah. I assume you guys are similar. Like, I don't really keep track of a lot of the drama between some bigger YouTubers when it happens. Like, there was the H3, H3 Keemstar one. But I do remember being made aware that he went after Keemstar's sponsors. And I was like, why yeah. the fuck would you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that too. Because he's, because I'll tell you why, Mola. Because he has his money. And and he's he's so selfishly uh, inclined. He has his money, so he doesn't care that it affects anyone else. He doesn't care about other YouTubers whatsoever. He's made his money, so if if he gets kicked off the platform tomorrow, uh, he's okay. He's going to be able to to survive fine. But they don't take the other YouTubers' uh, careers, sh uh, channels into consideration at all because these are just selfish narcissistical wankers yep. yeah because he got some pretty fucking sad didn't he once it actually affected him i don't know if you've seen the clip but he's just like it's really it's more of a sulk i think than a sad i think it's a sulk because how dare they how I'm dare the they do ones. it to me yeah 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 that that's they, why they... did i get my sponsors taken away when i only go to joke I, mean, I don't. I don't think he said that anything can be wrong. Held over your fucking head. That's what they are. They're just eventually oh. something that can be held over your head. That's why he I didn't don't. say anything wrong. He just had the wrong audience. Yeah. No. I. I. He. He should be allowed to say what he said. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No problem with it. But his consequences are anything I'm going to feel bad for. I mean, it's all all the consequences <laughs> of the framing he's already approved of. It's it's just like that shit where you you see them make all these rules and then they break them and you're looking over like what are you doing that <laughs> is it's literally happening on twitter right now with that uh uh what was uh didn't adam krigler say this guy's like four foot seven for one <laughs> guy on MSNBC going now they can just like cancel politicians and affect the oh, yeah and it's like i have that clip oh. do you want me to pull it up yeah 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 bring it bring it up. I, I yeah well, i was just like does so this guy not have a mirror tweeted. in his house I, I I can't remember who it was, so I'm sorry I'm taking credit for your tweet because I have a bad memory. I'm not trying to swipe you or anything, but they said this is basically the left or the leftist or the blue check marks, however you want to call them, trying to figure out how to work within their own rules that they created. That they <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, this is so exactly beautiful. what's going yes. on because that's literally what they did. It was crazy. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh, you, well. I'm assuming you guys have heard about the um, ironic misogyny to own the bigots uh where it's like i'm mm -hmm. sorry ironic it, it gets very confusing but i've heard that you can use slurs and uh and whatever you know isms and s as long as they're used on bad people that's oh, the, that, that's a new rule they've been trying to introduce which i find fucking hilarious rule. well i can use that rule too then I've, I've <laughs> like, right but they're the ones who determine who are bad or not in their well, own yeah, but th th let's just say that the the, uh, the veil has completely fallen off to the point where they go our rules we decide who's good and evil <laughs> like right okay okay, okay. i'll be your the problem is they've started looking inward uh, with their little point of who's evil and it's not going well Hey, we've all done it, all right, in our lives. We're all talking, and all of a sudden, we, like, discount one of our own points in our own conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do is go, fuck. <laughs> mm. I, just, I just, oh, damn it. Uh, but, like, yeah, they can't do that, so. As I'm sharing my screen, but I also put it in the private chat. Okay. okay. Bring that up. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so you bad. own all of Twitter or Facebook or what have you. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates, really? all of its nominees. Hello? Or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and really? turn up the reach oh, of something really? else. And the rest of us might not even find out about it till after the election. No shit. Now, Elon Musk says this is all to help people. Now this shock, 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 now this shock. Fortification means cheating. Fortifying election means cheating. That's what it means. Yes. 
people because he is just a free speech, philosophically clear, open-minded helper. If you own all of Twitter or more Facebook or what have you, you don't Silicon have to explain Valley. yourself. More than anybody in Silicon Valley. And he's not perfect, but the people who are there, the people who, the woman who runs this freaking wonderful platform but uh yeah they're morons they're they're for one they're morons uh we, we we're starting to see like behind the scenes like these aren't you know they have control of of uh, a lot of resources a lot of people's lives and these are just like average intelligence sometimes below average intelligence narcissistic fucking simpletons running the fucking world that's why elon's kind of like cutting through him right now because he's probably an actual genius compared to 99 percent of these people i'm telling you beautiful folks in the chat uh, a good share of you could probably run the uh, a company like disney like bob Iger. bob Iger doesn't do a lot of stuff he goes to some meetings he makes some decisions he buys some shit he golfs and tries to uh build up his political career through his company you would be utterly utterly shocked how little work upper management does in hollywood because it is not much most of the work is done by middle management lower management the what they call the little people uh they do most of the moving and shaking in hollywood and producers but those big higher ups nothing they're fucking morons and they're easily replaceable yeah i should be the ceo of disney you should be you would be a better ceo than bob chapik i promise you i'll just immediately day one i'm like is there any buffy projects happening and they're like uh, yeah and i'm like ax it now uh-huh just <laughs> fire the ball Get Feige in my office now. <laughs> I just like, laugh right, at about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I just laugh at all the people that are like losing their minds on Twitter about Elon like taking over, and they're like, "We're gonna quit!" Like the people who work at at Twitter, and I'm like, "Who's quitting?" Like no one is quitting because you know how like you know food prices are rising up gas prices are rising up no one is quitting their job that is not happening uh I mean, well, no one's quitting twitter it's a drug no term. no no they're no. not and, and elon exposed uh bill gates a couple of days ago for having a short <laughs> coverage against tesla mr fucking environmentalist bill gates that just shows what pieces of vindictive pieces of shit they are uh. they're terrible, vindictive pieces of shit like all of us they just have more money. Okay, that's it. Yes. More well, money, more reach, more power. Yeah. It, it, I find it really funny because somebody had tweeted it out that uh, all these people reading about Twitter being bought are the ones driving Teslas. That's the that's the funny part. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. I'm going to quit Twitter and get my Tesla and go home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm going to, no, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a Tesla with pay through PayPal. Through PayPal. I know. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, one guy said that fucking jeff bezos the like, smallest dicked individual on the planet mm. uh he probably has a clit um is oh my god it, it, i'm not happy with him right now i've made it okay i'm a little bit of a biased uh he talked about like elon something have something something with china right because and then some guy like he, he tweeted a guy for one, the batteries are not made in China, dipshit. Some guy accused Elon of making the Tesla batteries in China. No, they're not made in China. They're actually made here. Um, no. So, so he got the information wrong. But Bezos fucking retweeted him. I got a little mad in the response. But uh, I just said Elon would make a better Lord of the Rings show. And sorry to hear about the small dick. But that probably wasn't very nice. But I didn't give a shit. Uh, I'm, more, I'm more interested to in seeing what happens with, to the Twitter employees when uh elon musk converts uh two of the floors or whatever to homeless shelters oh bring them to texas uh, unless they're californians if they if they want to be like good californians they can come if they want to be bad californians they can fucking stay fuck them but well, if you uh, were to move to texas where would you go if they say austin then you go no no you kick them out no uh, that's if they say anywhere else but austin okay that's a test right there they go out yeah. the country maybe buy some a ranch uh, then you're all okay. You can come back. Yeah, you're gonna be a prepper. I'm gonna go to downtown Austin. I'm gonna set up a nice little cafe bar. Out. I want to live in the suburbs. I'll accept that because uh, that's what I did. Uh, but like real quick, then Ryan pointed out uh, that Jeff Bezos, uh, 
has been doing work with the Chinese, the CCP, the censorship wing of the CCP. Bezos and Amazon have done work with them. So that like this shows what utter pieces of shit that this guy, it feels strongly enough to retweet wrong, wrong information and just totally forgetting that he like is probably got involved with people getting killed. I mean, the censorship wing of the CCP, I'm guessing they've disappeared a couple of people. That's just some speculation on my part. Uh, yeah, they're all fucking pieces of shit. I don't care. Twitter can burn tomorrow. I think that would be a better result than it staying, to be honest with you. Twitter can just. <laughs> I, I, said, I said from day one, he should just buy it and turn it off because that, that would be, would be so helping funny. the world. Be, no. like, make it open source. <laughs> click. It's all like somebody else build another one. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye. Code. See ya. Bye, Felicia. You know, the, but the most difficult thing, as we've seen, is to get people to move from one platform to another. And and all the people who are complaining about why didn't just create why did these people just complain why just create their own platform? Well, there was a bit of an exodus towards a certain website called Parler not Parler. so long ago. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, and when people realized that uh, when Twitter realized that they were losing people quite dramatically to Parler, uh, they conspired with, with Amazon, Amazon owned by Jeff Bezos. Mm. Oh, that's a coincidence. AKA Lex Luthor <laughs> uh, to take down Parler, and by time uh, Parler had been taken down and had sorted, you know, at least got themselves back up. Again, too late, too much time had passed by, and it, the whole moment of that had had gone, and that was the prime moment. So all these people complain about we just go go elsewhere. Got tried, got vetoed because they need the conflict on Twitter. They need to have that division on twitter it's what drives the algorithm it's what drives engagement according you know their buzzword of engagement speaking of engaging i'm going to engage my penis oh. to the toilet damn all right okay i don't then. know if that quite segued well but it didn't it, at all it, it even really better did. hold can't on be, you can't be before the show god you're <laughs> kids Like, can you can you go now before the show? No, can you try? No. no, give it a shot. I thought I said to myself, "Do you know what I want to do? I want to go to the toilet at fifty minutes into the real BBC episode today." <laughs> That's why not. It's a good. Uh, it's all right. Go it's go powder good. your nose. I'm gonna go powder my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you, as you probably said quite a lot back in the day. Oh, oh I did. hell, hell. Uh, I did. I did. Um, Speaking of engagement, by the way, I find it all very funny that Twitter followers and uh, likes and retweets, they just don't translate to YouTube at all. Like, somehow. No. no. It's, a, it's a staggeringly low percentage. It's like for every hundred likes, you get one for YouTube. It's just like, it, it feels like there's two different audiences or just two different... You'll have like a Twitter a post that gets like almost a million likes you're like whoa and then they go check out my youtube channel everyone it's like 10 views you're like how did oh <laughs> you're right you're totally it, right Mahler. no that that, that that and that changed too like even if you share a video right except for you Mahler. but for the rest of us if we share a video we get like a tenth of the turn uh you know interaction on our twitter feed than we do on any random post i can throw a picture of an action figure that'll get better fucking traction than my latest video except for yesterday like oh, yesterday yeah. all of a sudden wow I was gonna say, you are uh you are right to the point where people um they try to account for that because they like suppress video link tweets don't they i guess yeah. maybe they're not doing that anymore but like that's such a fucking weird thing that they had as part of the website oh. i guess it's to I, I guess it's because twitter's like hey stop sending people to youtube keep people here well, and the thing is, is it hasn't rolled out yet, like, I guess to the Mexican servers or whatever, but like, there is definitely some other weird stuff going on with Twitter. And like, I think in the US and in, in, in different places in the world where they have like the shadow banning button now, and they have like the vote down button, and they have like all these different weird things that kind of like suppresses your tweets anyways like we don't have that but i get screenshots all the time like what is this like i you know i you it says for me your your tweet is shadow banned and like blah 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 and i'm like i i don't know what these are but they, but they well, do that guys, stuff on twitter all the time 
do you love the ones that are like, are you sure you want to read these offensive tweets? And you're like, okay. And then it says <laughs> like, I disagree with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Yeah. Objection. And I... uh, wait, wait, we got to share this right now. Uh, this is fucking awesome. Uh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm sharing it in the screen. Uh, well, boom, boom, boom. Uh, here, share Ryan's tweet here. I can make sure my messages are down. They're down. Oh. Okay. Uh, Taylor Lorenz docs libs of TikTok. Ah, oh, Tim did it. Tim did it. Oh my god. Ah, she's pissed. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, Tim you friggin' cunt. You deserve it. Speaking of her, did you vile see her tweet her and like all those disgusting journos putting on the privacy tweet that was like the um, like it's like a. I did not agree to my image being used. You just need to stop posting this now. It's a private company. They need your permission post it now. Otherwise, yeah. they could just take, they could use your data. They could use your data. Hello, what's been going on for the past? Uh... But also, it's fucking Taylor Lorenz. This bitch is literally like freaking doxing people. And she's like, my privacy. It's like, bitch, shut up. Yeah. Uh, Tempo it's and just Taylor. leather shoe, uh, what they call it, leather shoe journalism. That's all it was, shoe it was, leather journalism. I mean, in a way, it's kind of working for it. it's cloud chasing. Like she, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, she, yeah. it's. I mean, you guys know brand that. building. That's yeah, what she's yeah. Doing. yeah. And she, I mean, she had a brand is cunt. Wait, so yeah. what did she say? Because I can't read. I can't. The Tim Pool uh, CEO of the Daily Wire took out a giant billboard in Times Square today in an attempt to discredit my reporting on the libs of TikTok, which tells me right now that she's too completely fucked with this. Uh, and they are just discrediting it. They're just saying you're a woman in your mid forties who cries about women being harassed online while simultaneously doxing a woman for the sole purpose of harassing her. Basically, that you're an enormous hypocritical piece of shit, Ryan Kinnell. And and she and he, Ryan is completely right because I, I you know I've done some research on her too and this is not the first time she's doxed female like scroll down Gary. creators oh, sorry yeah it's definitely not the first time and I won't I probably won't be the last no 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 no, no. up 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 uh, open the tweet all right click on her tweet oh, oh, what's, oh, it say? what's it say below that what's it say there what's it say there oh oh who can oh, reply oh, oh. oh no. Uh, She's trying to protect herself from harassment. (laughs) I wouldn't want people replying who don't like you. Oh no. Oh, she's gonna get like uh yeah, she's gonna get ratioed. That that guarantees ratio. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my god, I'm going to ratio that bitch, right? (laughs) I would. If anybody uh Feel free to quote tweet uh what you think of this POS 49 year old woman 49 year old woman who likes to go to and harass children fucking children no she's not fucking children but she likes to harass them uh probably pro fucking children she she is pro anything that will help taylor yes you could tell that is just psychos personified right there look I'm at throw the- anything that helps my career eyes. i don't care how fucked up i was if i saw those eyes i'd just run the other way like, no nope, uh-uh this, this, that's a uh, no way that's uh that's the definition of uh crazy nothing says false accusations like this face <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, I'm gonna dox you, and then I'm gonna go on TV and cry and say you abused me when we didn't even go out. You know, yeah, okay. Oh my god, like s- somebody's literally re- the, li- the amount of ass kissing that's going on on this freaking like th- thread right now with Taylor Lorenz. Like somebody's like just ran into the Times Square to correct the record, and it's like there's like memes that's that that's the billboard, and it's like it's such a good jur- Taylor Lorenz is such a good journalist. Like they've just like erased it, and I'm like, the, oh my god, the echo chamber of this chick right here. It's like it's just so uh, gross. Exposing uh, exposing libs of TikTok who just simply exposes <laughs> yeah. this with their own words, like with like does editorialism isn't even needed. You just post it and go, go, decide for yourself. That's the face, by the way, of when a boyfriend comes in at night 
That's the face of someone who goes, I need to smell your dick. Oh. Tim Pool replied to it. <laughs> Where have you been? I need to smell your dick to make sure you're not lying to me. Oh my God. Did he? Yeah. Oh, and he, me out. oh uh, here he is. Yeah, yeah. Tim Pool replied to it, but just quote tweeted himself. Like, here it is. <laughs> here is his reply. I repeatedly said it was justified and publishing a name was can argue the merits. I'm calling you out for lying when you said Wapu denied linking to a private details. Mm -hmm. You published Lib's private address. Just own it. Yeah, he, re he replied that to it. There it is. It's his own tweet. Doxing yeah. for thee, but not for me. <laughs> I, don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't call it fucking reporting. No, it's um, it's, it's witch hunting. Yeah, it's this it's, is these are, these are the Salem witch trials. This is this is it's, it's wrong think hunting. Yeah, it's, it's like whoever it's you know. Opinion. It's, it's uh, put your uh, this is this is Gary. You're gonna love this. This is drumhead. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't know what that means. Absolutely, drumhead. This is drumhead court. This is what this is really good tng episode oh okay, okay. Uh, yes okay i'm sorry i'm not good at tng names okay it's all right um, you nerds with your tv shows and movies and stuff <laughs> dude orville did uh, a great one on camp <sighs> culture as well and so did um black mirror the orville, one, <laughs> so was really good. Friends. The orville one was really good because jay fucked a statue and <laughs> they wanted to cancel him for it <laughs> <laughs> or dry hump the statue but uh, it was funny dude the fucking um i don't know if you guys remember or if you watched it but the, the simpsons kind of got there really early with a cancel culture episode remember it's when homer wants to grab the um the gummy venus de milo off of someone yeah sat on it. Mm. yeah the and, sexual um, harassment thing yeah and he has like <sighs> huge groups of women saying he's like the biggest monster in history a helicopter was outside his house so he's trying to have a shower and like they just and they re-edit things he says to make him look much worse this is all like fucking you know 30 know. years ago they released mm -hmm. that episode it was like whoa the I know ending you. was the best part <laughs> i know we love the simpsons Mahler. when should they have canceled it oh we're, we're looking like it's probably the thing is it slowly declined um a lot of people like to say it's the first seven or eight seasons i think that the next set of i don't know five or maybe five to ten seasons is salvageable should be should be gone by now for sure so maybe yeah. maybe season 15 somewhere around there i don't know i, I always know. say 13 maximum yeah 13 15 um, i think is reasonable i yeah i i'm just one of the people who was fucking watching that growing up and it it helped make me a better person okay? me too Mahler. i learned <laughs> english from watching the simpsons oh no way that's cool. yeah yeah i mean I'm sorry, I, that's cool I know it's crazy. I I learned by mimicking Homer's accent. That's how I didn't. That's how I don't have an accent. Oh, that's that's crazy. Well, that's actually that's where I started trying to be able to just imitate voices as well with Simpsons. Trying to get Me too. I yeah. do. Yeah, um, Ralph. And <laughs> the funny part was that my mom was unsure about it as a show in terms of like how whether it's too offensive or if the jokes are just people falling down. My dad loved it, and he was like, "No, he can watch it." I, <laughs> I was I, like, "Yeah." when bart was more popular than homer he was like the most oh popular. yeah i remember that in the first like three seasons right after he was in school at the time and it was all bart and bart man and do the bart man mm -hmm. yep don't have a cow man. don't have a don't, cow man, don't have a cow don't have a cow. man. Cow. i still have my don't have a cow man pencil case from like 1991 when i thought i was going to be a comic book artist you know, ah. i got also my return of the bowl. jedi bowl plastic bowl from 1983 uh, I remember watching The Simpsons when they were on the Tracy Ullman show at Melissa's house when she was like 17. Wow. Hanging out, watching The Simpsons. And, and it was Fox had just started and it was only on one night. And it had uh, Simpsons, Married with Children, Duet. Correct me mm. if I know oh, there's another show out there. Anybody remember Duet? No, probably not. I think it lasted yeah. one season. Um, have you guys ever watched the um, the video? It's called "The Fall of the Simpsons." What happened? And that the guy that talks about Zombie Simpsons and how it's it's called it's like Zombie Simpsons now. 
I, I think it, I think it's a precursor. Sorry, Mar, I, to like what's happening with everything right now, and, mm-hmm. and it happened slowly to the Simpsons, which was more corporatism than anything else. Yeah, uh, the was that the employment video? I've seen that was the crazy who made like probably my favorite video for explaining why Simpsons uh, died. Basically, I think he nailed it because um, I do happen to think that like a lot of people like to choose an episode. They're like, this is the one where it all goes to shit. Um, but I think it's a lot more complicated than that. Especially even you can target between seasons. They switched out a lot of the writing team, as a lot of people know. Um, a lot of the Simpsons writers went to Futurama. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, and then you'll find a lot of people like, yeah, Futurama's initial seasons were fucking gold, and yep. then that went to shit too, because <laughs> that's how it always goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's coming back. It is coming back. again. Mm-hmm. Tight, tight. Everything. But did you hear that Bender's not coming back because they didn't no, pay him? No, they, 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 they weren't on. They, they they're doing it now. They they've got him in. Oh, they okay. Them. So they they okay. They caved because he was like, I'm not well, coming back if you don't pay me enough. I'm not. Not doing it. Yeah, I mean, there, there was. I think they realized like it's worth paying him because fans are gonna be like, "I ain't fucking watching this shit if you don't bring that Fender's voice actor." You yeah. Can't. And this is his chance. It's like, okay, this is probably the last chance that like I'm gonna make a lot of money in Hollywood. I'm gonna mm-hmm. take it. Take yeah, do it. Good for him. He should. Yeah, good. Oh, he's he's no the the guy's. Uh, I I'm trying to remember the name off the top of my head. I can't. Uh, but he's a very. Uh, uh, respected voice actor. This guy gets a ton of work. Uh, yeah, so I don't Maggio, think he's, right? he's, he has like, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the most unique his, voices. Uh, You'll recognize mm. him wherever he's using his voice. He, uh, he. I don't think his work's going to run out too soon. Voice acting, you can go for one of the a highlights. Long, long time. Saying the thing. He sang the San Diego Supercharger song in Bender voice at Comic Con. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Yep. He's one of those voices where I would actually wonder if there's anyone who can even impersonate Bender. It's got like a, a gravelly thing to it that's just like, can you even, is that just the fact that it's his throat specifically? I don't even know. Hmm. It might be. The gravelly part must be hard. That, that's kind of something you got to get That's your what she said, I think. <laughs> oh, God. You earned it. <laughs> that, may, that may be what she said. I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> mean he's sucked a lot of D. I mean, wow. I, don't, wow. I didn't assume that. I, I thought that would be a lubricant that would keep it. Hey, yo. Anyway, uh, let's uh, read some super chats. Well, one, one thing I just want to say is that one of his quotes oh was God. that he thinks the entire cast deserves to be paid more yes. for the revival. And it's about self-respect. And it's like, well, yeah, voice actors get fucked over uh, even more than mm. actors as far as I'm aware. So uh, cool what, they did get. one last note on The Simpsons, because I just love that show so much. The old, uh, The old Simpsons. I still watch it. Back in the like the, the the older ones, I watched it twenty plus years. No, I only watch the older ones. I don't watch the new one. I haven't watched it since like season thirteen. I just go back and rewatch the old ones. But Mahler, you you said that there was a certain episode that some people have that like basically like dies for them. I think for me that episode was like the principal Skinner episode where they like lo- ruined his lore and like they brought back that other they, they brought some other principal Skinner and they were like oh he just faked like he didn't he didn't ever go to war and he wow that was a weird thing what what is it That's, for you Mahler well a lot of people do tend to choose that episode um mm. M. Lemon's theory so his mom's find... not his mom yeah 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 that was what yeah mm-hmm. yeah there's the, basically that the, the Skinner we know has taken over a different yeah. Skinner's life it's it's a very strange choice that I think if you apply it to literally anything, you'd find it frustrating. It's like you can't just tell me this character is not this character. That's not cool. Um, so I understand why people got annoyed at that. M. Blemon's theory was actually that like the Simpsons kind of dies with its greatest episode. He he targets um the Frank Grimes one and he talks for a while about why that episode is one of the greatest episodes of the Simpsons, which it is. It's uh, I'm I assuming love everyone that remembers. episode. It's it's fucking fantastic. And he talks about how Simpsons basically he lines out what Simpsons' goal was, how it was created as a counterculture show, how it explores all of its different ideas about different stereotypes in society and different problems. And the Frank Grimes episode is basically the peak of their um, ability to... Because it, it's your average, normal, sort of hardworking guy who gets fucked over by the system versus Homer Simpson, a guy who is lazy, stupid, and yet has everything one could want. A huge house, a loving family, two cars, you know, and a, and a job that pays well. Um, they don't have to do much in. So it's, it's like the episode sort of summarizes a lot of what the Simpsons' points were. And then from there, it seems that they run out of steam uh, to a degree and they don't know where else to go exactly. Then the writing team switches out. And 
all this other stuff happens. And he basically just says that, yeah, like uh, Simpsons was complete after that episode, mm. um, which happens to shows. It really does. Sometimes yes. your story has ended. And uh, the thing is like, yeah, but we're still making money, though. And it's like, yeah, true. That's True. why that's why Seinfeld ended it where he ended it. He said, I want to go out on a high note. I'm not I'm not going to be one of those shows. It's, it's, it's interesting. Cool. Thanks, Breaking Paul. Bad was the uh, same thing as far as I can remember. Vince Gilligan was offered to keep it going. He just didn't. It felt like they'd reached their ending. I'm pretty sure it's been a five season. Yeah. Arc. <laughs> it got extended. Oh, to do no. More on top of that. <laughs> How is better uh, call Saul going for you, Gary? Uh, I, didn't it? Watch, uh, I didn't watch Monday's episode. I'm going to watch it tonight. Okay. It was on, right. it was on last night. Uh, apparently, it's good. No, I have the first two episodes are really good. Like the show has okay. not changed. It's not fucking woke. It's still Better Call Saul. It's fucking pretty dope. Cool. Uh, yeah, and you could tell it's like rush. It's going towards its end, especially with the opening clip. Did you see it yet, Mahler? I did. I did. Yeah. I'm, with, uh, I'll be I'll be keeping up to it up to date now and. Um... Yeah, yeah, the the opening clip was really cool, as well as just, uh, you're right about the whole, when you watch Better Call Saul, it feels like I get transported to the time of, um, I already know that I'm in for at least a standard strong entertainment, and then I can sort of judge it, it with nitpick slash really in-depth dives, instead of just being miserable. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I see the Halo show, or when I see... Oh. Exactly. Hey. Like things like uh, things, like, there's, there's imperfections and everything, but they're normal imperfections, like, you know, well, you know, maybe a production delay or whatever. COVID or plot uh, armor, you know, just plot armor, plot armor. Armor. Plot armor. Well, there's a there's yeah. <laughs> that happens at the end of every season. I mean, like yeah, like, like <laughs> anything. That's like there's certain guys we got to keep around now, and it's like eh, I think you could probably lose one, but you know, ex except in like uh, Game of Thrones season eight when <laughs> Neon when there's like fuck it. Through. Fucking everyone dies. Yeah. yeah. Fuck this. We're, we're over it. Yeah. That's I just true. remember when um Gwendolyn Christie got run over straight at the start of the zombie charge. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, these guys are legit. She just got fucking wiped out. And I thought that was it. And it was like, oh no, everyone's got plot armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, when she popped back up later in the episode, I was like, wait, yeah. whoa, no. Oh. She just got fucking run over by a zombie. She's dead. Do you remember no, the they, they show like Sam is just crying in the middle of the battlefield? Yeah. Uh, and it's like, dude. I fucking hated that so much. Stabbing and stabbing some white walkers as well. <laughs> yeah, really awkward. So first of all, he should be dead if he's doing that. Secondly, that's not Sam. That's not the, Sam. The whole, the whole fuck point of him was that when it comes to helping other people, he'll be like as courageous as the next fucking guy. Like, yep. that, he's not supposed to be a baby. What the hell? Yeah, uh, speaking of being a baby, I also saw a fucking Moon Knight. Okay, that's so great. Oh. We're, we're gonna read some movie super chats. Sorry, now. sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh fuck Moon Knight. Um <laughs> Derpy Hodgington oh with a two dollar says, Yo, uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the last run in part five comes out tomorrow. Ooh. It's done. Hmm. Uh great, because then I can actually start to read it because I've got all four parts here. And I'm waiting for part five, and then I can read this story, and I'm hearing it's really good. Uh, the Uber Geek with a £10 says, Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and Nina. I've been looking up software to use for videos. I use Adobe Premiere. Would you recommend any others, or is Adobe the best? Uh, Uber Geek, I would, the advice I would give you is I think you need to start walking before you're running. This is your first video. This is your first soiree. I, you know, I think you're kind of going a little too deep. You need to try and just find something that you're comfortable with working with, uh, that you can get to grips with real quick. Um, it's, it's about the quality of your product, not what products you're using to start with, you know? That's what well, I um, that's what I would say. But what do you three use for video editing software? Camtasia. Like the most basic bitch uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Adobe After Effects. I use Vegas. Uh, uh, that's what Perry uses. It's uh, Vegas. I'm just familiar with. This is the thing. All of these sort of pieces of software. I will say, even the top dollar, top dog one. It's still like one you can use in a simplistic manner, more than likely. It'll have like mm. a thousand buttons, and it's like you can just not press all of those buttons and just 
you know yeah simple and, cups. and and sorry to interrupt but like uh like premiere will use less of your computer like it, it they can't the cheap ones are cheap because they fucking run like shit just remember that if you get something like adobe premiere it runs really nicely on your computer and you can do all the simple stuff it's pretty complicated though if you don't if you've never done it before yeah that's what i all use right, premiere right. and after effects mm -hmm. um these days i just recommend looking at youtube channels that are devoted to reviewing all this stuff and see what they end up concluding because the thing is i would try and move to a different one now but i know vegas is like retardation so well that if it acts up, <laughs> I know why and how to fix it, as opposed to a, a brand new program where it does something. And I'm like, I don't even know if this is normal, you know? Yeah. 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 I just find Camtasia very uh, intuitive mm -hmm. uh, for what for what you want to do, but it does struggle when you try and do a lot of complex editing. It it uh, it really does. That's why I just hired you. But uh, yeah, Premiere is a lot like Final Cut Pro which is a very good editing pro. Well, it was. It was a very good editing program 20 years ago. God, that's a long time ago now. Sad thing about uh, Vegas is excellent when you're making a 10 minute video. When it, when it gets longer than that, it starts to chug and it's just like. <sighs> yeah, I'd say, yeah, Camtasia is great for like 10, 15 minute. Yep. Highly edited. If you want to do a 10, 15 minute highly edited, great. Anything after that? Ah! Yeah, you got to break it up into pieces. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, what I do is, now. Yeah, yeah. project. Uh, yeah, but and then you lose it in rendering, so it's just like, ugh. you lose some. But like, if you're using the same one, I mean, that's what pros used to do too. That's what we had to do is break it down the projects. We can do everything on one timeline. I had to do that a few times. Then I just couldn't be bothered to edit it anymore. Uh, Kretosis with a ten Canadian says, "Hello, real BBC. Recently on the e fappings." Mauler expressed potential interest in checking out Berserk. I have extra copies of the deluxe edition of Volume 1. Would he or anyone else on the panel like a copy? I have Volume 1 myself. I have Volume 1 as well, and that's a pretty um, hard find. Wow. I, mean, I, I re super appreciate the offer, but like, obviously I would I'd happily uh, buy it myself when I figure that there'll be a point where I'm like, oh, I've, I've got a chance to give a good read, and so I'll... Uh, I'll pick it up there because mm. I, I hate the idea of being like, oh, yes, send it to me. And then I'm like, I'll read it at some point. And it just sits yeah. somewhere. And I just feel like I feel pretty guilty. So, yeah, thank you. But uh, I, I'm not sure when I'll get around to it. I actually, um, as a gift to a friend, I got them like from one to 20 or something for Berserk. Um, it was part of like, I think it was a Christmas birthday combo. And I was just like, you like Berserk, you'll like this. And um, uh, so I can always read them as it is as well, I think. I assume. I assume they'd let me read that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they've got it uh, sealed away maybe. in a vault now yes uh marksman of 117b with three five dollar super chats totaling 15 dollars. so thank you sir uh let's read them they're all separate things so, but let's go now i am a fellow elden lord i must wow. ask why is it always the jolly ones who go first raise a glass with me to toast such jolly companions from our faithful onion knights to our noble warrior jars your adventures fleeting but your friendships are eternal this is getting really gay and that's great and just yeah. which is awesome i love it <laughs> so gay Thank so you gay all. which is awesome uh may the sun shine on you and the light guide your way from now to forevermore a road of jolly cooperation and that's cool dude cheers thank you cheers hmm. cheers well here's a really good comic book cover <laughs> that is fucking brilliant bullseye motherfucker take a six ten with the five dollar says there is a u.s football team called the pittsburgh maulers <gasps> imagine Ooh. how long the film sessions are also, oh YMS goes long man with Lion King review. Have you guys seen that at all? No. Oh what? boy, do I recommend it. He is tearing Disney's abomination apart. It's uh it's actually kind of amazing. They've made shit tons of mistakes in the audio recordings, be it the music or the voice actors. 
the mics like peak they've got the incorrect like lines they've got deliveries that are completely off and he goes through like each of the casting choices and he's like so you had rowan atkinson an actor who like specifically learns the script for zazu plays the character that was very passionate about it then you're like we're making a new version who's a popular british man john oliver Let's just go with him. Oh, and they're gross. Replacing Rowan Atkinson with John fucking Oliver. John Oliver right? is no. only popular in America. Let's just be honest. Yeah. No, no one over and here knows who the fuck he is. He's right. Yes, like, is right. Nobody fucking likes him in Britain. He starts comparing, like, uh, in Rowan Atkinson's performance, he's not even, like, using his default voice or performance as a human. He's, he's playing a character, and... He changes his inflection according to what they're trying to achieve in the scenes as well as with whatever songs are playing. And then he's like, John Oliver just delivers lines as John Oliver. Um, he's not popular in America. He's popular somewhere. I don't know, like, unfortunately. Nobody cares about him. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, he goes through each of the casting choices. And obviously, as you guys would know, like they didn't bring back Jeremy Irons. Instead, they brought in Chiwetel Ejiofor to play Scar. which I like him. I really like him as an actor. He's a fucking fantastic actor. Mm. His performance as Scar sucks. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it, to be fair, you, you, you're going to be compared to Jeremy Irons, who him as Scar is one of the like best voice acting casting choices ever. Um, Scar is like typically people's favorite Disney villain, for fuck's sake. But yeah, yeah he goes through all these subjects. Absolutely, If you didn't dislike their remake already, you will. I never watched the fucking Lion King remake. I don't need no, to watch the no, Lion no. King remake, man. I yes, watch yes, either of them. This is the thing, though. It's you get someone to guide you through the horrors of what they did to Lion King. <laughs> so I know, just, it, I just like to pretend that it doesn't exist. And I, if I ever want to watch the Lion King, I'll just go and watch the fucking Lion King. Isn't this is the, the most successful version. animated movie of all time? Made a billion dollars. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. Gosh. That's I mean, same with like life. fucking Aladdin. I mean, especially like after the slap, like <laughs> with Will Smith as the genie. Oh. It's like, bro, no. <laughs> like, I'm not watching this shit. No one was oh. anyway, in all fairness. No. Uh, Mikey Gustler with a five part, two parter. <laughs> they go one of two to two of two to three of two to four of two to five of two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> each, each one, $10 each. Uh, Mikey, thank you. That was really generous. Let's go through these then. I want to clarify my statement on Friday Night Tights about the it's not like the comics argument being invalid. There have been many iterations of these characters over the years, and people have found their favorite one. It seems like people think that if their character isn't exactly how they act in the comics run, they like the comics run they like, it's bad. My dad's a comic book fan too. He's a 70s kid like Gary and agrees that Tim Holland isn't his Superman, but he loves Man of Steel, BVS and the Snyder Cut and thinks Henry Cavill's Superman is the most comic accurate. Now, I know people are different on those characters. I hear all of these arguments and I honestly just block them out. I judge movies by themselves, not whether it's faithful. It's cool if you do not... Uh, but not me. Uh, just wanted to clarify what I meant. No disrespect to how you guys judge things. I just think it's worthy criticism. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. And so I'll go away now. The oh. end. Oh, good. Um, okay. I would say, Mikey, certain characters over the years have remained very consistent. Bruce Wayne is a very consistent character. Yep. So there's not a lot of difference between current day Bruce Wayne and say Bruce Wayne from even the 70s when uh, 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 O'Neill and, and Adams, you know, kind of yep. took over. He's had a very uh, specific um, personality since then. So he's he's very, uh, you, you understand the character. So if, if Bruce Wayne is out of character, it's very obvious. Uh, Superman has gone through different iterations of Superman and Clark Kent, for sure. Uh, like going back to Dick Donner's Superman movie, that was a way that they were uh, showing Clark Kent off for quite a few decades as this sort of bumbling uh, reporter or certainly naive reporter. And then you kind of got through the 80s and the 90s 
uh, Superman changed a bit, uh, kind of lost that bumbling Clark Kent, became more of a confident Clark Kent. So, I, you know, you can look at... No, oh, look at... There's a beautiful Bruce Wayne right there uh, from Batman Returns. Um, so you can, with Superman, you can fully appreciate the Dick Donner, old school kind of Clark Kent. And I do think Henry Cavill is more in line with modern Clark Kent. Uh, for, so, you know, that's, that's kind of open for interpretation. But certain characters are very, like Wolverine, and well, until obviously Marvel went fucking mental. Wolverine's been a very consistent character. Uh, Hal Jordan's been a very consistent character. Wonder Woman's been a very consistent character. So these, so people are looking really more for consistency when it comes to their characters. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of criticism is now being raised at the comic book industry. Because these characters, which have been consistent for so long, are now completely changing in an effort to validate uh, the new version of bullshit, uh, which has come in. Like Wolverine going, oh, to X-23. Oh, you're Wolverine just as much as me, and you should be called Wolverine too. No, no, no. It's no. X-23. It's no. Having more than one superhero with the same name is f fucking Stupid. retarded. It's retarded. And it's something they avoided for a long time for very good reason. It causes confusion amongst the normies. Now they yes. want that confusion. Um, Henry Cavill could absolutely be the best Superman of all time. He has he has it in him. If he gets the right script and the right director, he is it. Absolutely. I I, I without a I doubt agree I with that. Yeah. Yep. He gets yep. another chance. I hope he gets another chance. Um, uh, you know, as far as Zack Snyder is concerned, I've always said have him adapt Frank Miller stuff. He's really fucking good at that. So why don't you have him go over and do what he's played with strengths? Play to, you know, do a Dark Knight, like a proper Dark Knight Returns. That'd be great. I, I Like nothing more. Ben Affleck looked like Batman from the comics. The most consistent Batman is the animated series Justice League fucking Batman. That's it. That's, that, that, that is the most consistent from the comic books. Because the definitive, everybody's talking about definitive version on Twitter. The definitive version is the comic book version of Batman. That's the definitive version of Batman. That's where he came from. Uh, and I would say he's what to echo what as said, he has been pretty fucking consistent from the seventies to God, even when we stopped reading him, it's, it's one of the best selling comic books ever. It's been selling consistently for over 80 years. There's a reason for that. And there's a consistency there. Yeah. Um, that's absolutely correct. I don't agree. Except for Speaking, reason, when they... Speaking as a normie. Um, yeah. yeah. Stop fucking putting the same names because we get confused, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but the, another, I mean, another version is Black Falcon. You know, mm -hmm. you're Falcon. You're not Captain America. You're not Black Captain America. And I, uh, Eric July really kind of hammers this home. This isn't mm -hmm. a promotion for him. This is a demotion. Because, yeah. this, because what they did is they're saying, you as Falcon, who has been your own unique character, a Black guy for decades, you're not valid because you're not white. So we're going to have to take a white role and give it to you to now validate you as a black character, which is fucking racist as fuck. Yeah, you took the, the second, only... pretty sure on, the sorry. second, third black character in Marvel, made him a prominent character. He was a partner of Captain America for years. As much. When I was growing up, I thought they were together forever. I thought that was Batman and Robin. When Falcon disappeared, I'm like, what the fuck? I was mm. pissed. I was really fucking mad. Uh you know, I was a kid, but like I like there was a Falcon Mego. They made a Falcon Mego in the early 70s. Yes, he was a popular character that kids liked. And you took that away. You took that that individuality, that agency, that word you like to use away. Mm. The tokenization. I, I, think the, yep. I think it sucks. The like it's just like Falcon isn't good enough on his own. We need him to take someone else's name. She's like, what the hell? He's got his own, he's literally his own fucking. And then it just gets worse because like like female thought like why 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 would she not have her own thing but it's you know it's the language that we we're using it's female thought it's not thor it's it's, it's black captain america because it's not captain america mm -hmm. we, we these caveats in now yeah miles morales uh jane foster uh kate bishop uh you know Ree Wee williams 
all these caveats thought... are going in front now because these these characters aren't who they're me who they're trying to take over. Derivative shit. Say, like, why would you not want her to have her own hero name and right? status? You know, like because let's let's pretend for a second that she was called. Uh, I think one of the suggestions because we were talking about this on EFAP was like, I know it sucks, but just go with like Blitz for a second. It's just like that's sure. what she's called, and you find out she wears very similar armor to Thor. She's got the the hammer. She has lightning powers. We'd all be like, huh? So she's like girl version of Thor, but at least she has her own name, and maybe you could justify that narratively through whatever bullshit's happening in Asgard. It's just that, like, why wouldn't they want to do that? It Because it, it, then if you write it well, she can become her own thing. Well, the thing is, of... that, you're right. You're absolutely right. And it's just, it's it's become watered down. For one, there is a female version of Thor. Her name is Valkyrie. Mm. Uh, she's yeah. white, though. She's not black. She's white. She's not black. She's white. She's not black. And in, she's not a Kang. Uh, yeah, and she doesn't. Uh, she's not a Kang. Uh, by the way, calling a woman a king as opposed to a queen is about as sexist, sexist as fucking you fucking sexist, man. It's fucking sexist. Quit erasing us. God damn it. Uh, uh, equal power there. Um, and yeah, it's it's so so female thor which i will call her till the end of fucking time because that's what she is she's female thor uh no it, it's the same thing with doctor who it's like why not make a separate female you have one romana why don't make a romana yeah. show and mm. just put all your effort but, into the romana show you want to know why because they don't think a female led show could do it on its own without no. the established male tag that's, that's what right. it is when i was thinking about it and it's like why with female Iron Man didn't they call her Iron Man? It's like, well, you can't do that. <laughs> like, you have to actually change the name because Mad is in the fucking name. So yep. it's like, if only he was called Thor Man, and then she would be called Thor, something else, Thor Girl. Maybe. Thor Girl. But, oh, Gary, I mean, yeah. I, we we've Lady spoken Thunder before. Strike, you know, like something. You know, whatever. Thor. Or just why really don't you take see. another god's abilities and then use that to juxtapose with Thor? Exactly, uh, and have mm -hmm. her powers based around that, which makes to me makes much more sense. Anyway, um, Gary, I've you know I've said this idea to you before. Uh, it's gonna, time's time's going to run out, and this is not going to be able to do. But they have Susan, the actress who played Susan, the Doctor's granddaughter, is still alive. She's in her eighties. I'm sure you could bring her in for one episode. Of, of a show around her if you wanted to have a female Time Lord and have her in the first episode regenerate. You know, she's come to the end of her natural Dude, first call, life. Call it the unearthly child. That's, yeah. that's the name of your show. That would be fucking awesome. And that way you then you could regenerate her into a younger uh, female Time Lord, Time Lady. Let's get some fucking genders going here. Uh, time Lady. Uh, and then, then they could do their adventures, or they could have a, a a show that you know revolves around something that doesn't have to be obviously exactly like Doctor Who. It could be more specific to her life, and then you could do you know now that she's in a new body, in a younger body, in a fitter body. Um, you know, there could be because you know when he dropped her off, she was being dropped off in a destroyed sort of you know uh, rebuilding world. So it's like. Uh, her, her, with her hoping, you know, there's there's lots of avenues that you can explore with this character, and no, let's let's gender change the Doctor, and look how that turned out. Mm. What a fucking waste! Turn out so well, did it? We still haven't got any word on who the new Doctor's going to be, right? Yeah, it's, no, it's very strange. I think we're going to hear soon. I think it's going to be next. Uh, when did we hear last time? June. I think we'll hear in June. I think June, I said I think June. It was funny. I'm on the I think open bar, either open bar or open bar catch up. Uh, I was saying like, oh yeah, you know, David Tennant could be coming back, and and Drinker was like, well, that's just you know evidence that they've completely given up on try like uh, on all of it. I was just like, well, yeah, we've we've already got that with the bringing back Russell T Davies, right? That's that's evidence yeah, no, of them being that, desperate. They have to like they don't even have a fucking choice. Like David Tennant gave the best like denial, non denial that he could possibly do just last night or no two days ago where he said i'm not even going to bother answering because whatever answer you take you're going to spin it whatever you way so i might be i might not be who knows good, good I, answer. 
Yep. Uh, <laughs> but the, the fact that you're right, uh, we, I, the fucking minute after I saw that, I'm like, they have to bring him back. That's the only shot they have. Okay. Uh, it, it's, it, and it's the Spider Man factor. You brought Toby back, it, it puts some butts in the seats. Not, that's not but even if- an arguable position. It, but it would be temporary. You bring him back temporary and then yeah. do it with the doctor. If you do that, I say when they when fucking bitch regenerates, she goes through Capaldi's, through Matt Smith's, then goes back into 10. That's the way you regenerate it. Not from not from her into 10. It reg- it's like a regressive regeneration that halts at 10. I I just don't think they're going to acknowledge her. I, I think the reality of the situation is they're going to ignore the timeless children. I think that's the best you could hope for, which isn't enough. It's not enough because somebody else will pick it up later. Oh, dude, the, the perfect way to, 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 to is to use the shit. Forgive me for referencing it, but it's only two times in the stream, okay? Angel Season 5 uses Angel Season 4's fuck-ups. It basically, like... Yep. Yep. It it makes them like it's like we know this was shit and we're gonna talk about it almost in universe with meta lines. Like you should do that with the next season of yep. Doctor Who. You should be like, what the hell happened to me? The fact that you could regenerate into a previous generation, uh, like like a Doctor Ten, this those are like psychological elements that I think could be taken advantage of. You could be like, why would my body go back to like hey, uh, this, this? Dude, the story that you could play with. You they set it up back. in the fiftieth already too. You could use what went the, with the caretaker. He's like, oh, you go yeah. back and visit some of the old favorites. Or they can use the well, medical the, doctor. He's and also there. when Capaldi regenerated in deep breath and he looks at the reflection, he's like, why have I regenerated into somebody I've met? Because, of course, he met he met Capaldi in the fires of Pompeii. Yeah. Um, um, and, by and, the and, way, uh, Elizabeth, uh, she's looking after David Tennant and her five kids. <laughs> that's that's why we're not, probably not going to get any of that. Yeah. Uh, what so, are you saying? Yeah, just that uh, you can, I, I, because I know they wouldn't want to go for this, but just being like, what the fuck just happened to me? What were those years? What, like, what, what the fuck went through my head that made me make all those decisions in all those different adventures? We can call them. You just everything that she has done, you can recontextualize as being like we were actually trying to tell a story of the doctor losing their way, but not even realizing it. And this is the body like rejecting the, 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 the journey it's been on and resorting to an older, more reliable model in a sense. One that yeah. is more uh, focused on the doctor's intentions to um, make the world a better place, even to his own detriment. And what does it mean to have resorted back to that, that personality? Because Ten and Doctor, if you look at like compilation videos or videos appreciating the arc and stuff, you'll find loads of comments that are like, this was, you know, incredibly important to me as content this is a lot of stuff that i i found incredibly gripping or learned a lot from you don't find that for whittaker's doctor most people can't even remember her fucking episodes they're like which was the one where they did the thing with the i don't know but, but remember with when capaldi was going through his regeneration he was basically deciding whether to regenerate or fucking die yep so so you can you could uh bring that in when your time lord is because he's going to be a fucking Time Lord again. When your Time Lord is deciding whether or not they can hit and they should hit another regeneration cycle or just let themselves go, that's that's broken. They're broken. You know, something's something's not yeah. right. So get that regression back. And uh, Matt Smith, of course, you know, Matt Smith was just kind of very sort of young, old man, young body, wanted to kind of rekindle that th- that relationship that he had with Amy. With the impossible girl, Kara, uh, and then that that sort of you know went went away. But when you hit back to Tennant, Tennant had such an amazing arc as the Doctor, coming from the broken Doctor, dealing still with all the Time Lord stuff, believing that he killed his kind, all the way through to the the Time Lord victorious, where he was just like, no, I'm I'm, I'm not a survivor, I'm the winner, and now I get to choose the rules of time and that's when he realized he'd gone too far because he 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 was like i can change fixed points in time i will change fixed points in time not you know understanding the reason why the time lords have fixed points in time and the ramifications and, and repercussions that it has and it was only geraldine uh but know who realized herself that he's going down this destructive path and literally kills herself yeah, to fix to fix the timeline that he's breaking, 
So even like, she understands that. That's that so, so much more edgy the show used to be. Like, oh. do you remember when he's um he's drowning all the spider babies in uh yeah. in the Christmas specials, and you have Catherine Tate like pleading with him to stop. Stop, just please like, stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fucking brilliant stuff that you. Just, and he's just like looking. He's just like. That. He's oh, just dude, like his, staring his at them. Just nobody can deny his performance. It's so fucking fantastic. It is, and it reflects like this is a guy who you know totally rejects what he did in the in the time war but is totally capable of doing it like because it it's shifted his perspective uh it was fucking deep man it was uh, yeah. and and, and this yeah. um and then by the end it, sorry go, go on i was just gonna say is this the, the, the part of his thing was like when he sees people trying to kill someone else his overcorrection is to make them suffer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of Angel, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Family of Blood and and that that sort of stuff was was really kind of like, dude, that dark doctor stuff. So good, but it but it all ends with Fury him, Time Lord, uh, him sacrificing himself to save an old man's life. Brilliant, perfect yep. way to end it. Absolutely fantastic, yep. fantastic. I know, dude. I know. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I yes, absolutely gosh. love it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there, there are methods in which to uh, begin repairs. I'm not going to say to completely repair the show. Just begin repairs. And they involve decanonizing all that bullshit, contextualizing it as the master, fucking with everything, as you guys have been over before as well. Just And then uh, probably being critical of the past few seasons in the universe uh being like you know what some shit went weird <laughs> i i think i told you guys before we gone and fucked up <laughs> there's a couple of shows that do this here and there but the best example i have is community where they change the writing staff and then they put them back to the correct one and then all the characters refer to the past year as the gas leak year where everything yeah. went weird that was great i love that just so russell, russell t davis is he's intelligent enough uh, and he's such a good writer to, to, to him, this would be great material to play with. Yep. I I still laugh at that community episode that talked about the female doctor in their universe, that Minerva, and they made fun of it, how it like ruined their Doctor Who universe. And it was like way before that yep. the female doctor came out. It was good stuff. It's not uh, on TV, but I just watched uh, 11th Hour a couple days ago. That is one of the oh. tightest fucking episodes. So much happens in this little English village. It's right. fucking rad. It's such a great episode. Right? Yeah, yeah. Regeneration episodes can be really good. 11th Hour was phenomenal. Yeah. Deep breath. Breath. I, I just phenomenal. put an article in the, in the private chat. Uh, David Tennant. Yeah, we uh, just... Addressing the rumors. Yeah, man. He's... Uh, Sorry, I was away. Yeah, yeah. Do you, have, do you have concerns though? Because like, if it were announced that he were the one coming back, would you guys be? What's the feeling you get? Uh, the Excited. feeling would be Russell's got a story to tell. Yeah, that's what my that's what my the initial yeah. thought. He's got a story he wants to tell with ten. I would be like, I'm coming back to Doctor Who after how many years? I'd be like, how can yeah, let's go. Just get a Dude, couple more. I don't think it's gonna happen. But if he did come back and they made incredible stories and the ratings shot back up well, it's the 60th anniversary so i'm sure he's he and matt smith are coming back for that i'm sure they'll, they'll definitely come back for that like i'm, I'm more than more bored with the idea they'll come back for an anniversary just if he comes back fully as the doctor and it actually revives the show's ratings and sort of critical acclaim that'll just be the biggest condemnation of oh yeah everything they did with yes. the show now as a total doctor who nerd i'd be totally fine with Paul McGann coming back and getting you just a full run. I'm and I, I, that would just make me happy as hell. I'd love him to have a even if it's like a mini series or a special yeah. something. Yeah, you, could, you could do a simultaneous show just about his adventures, you yeah. know, in between. Still looks great. I mean, ten years on from when he did his regeneration, he still looks great. So yep. uh yeah, he's a he's a chap that's uh, uh, looked after himself. Yeah, there. I mean, like, if unless they completely, I mean, immediately address and retcon the timeless children, like within the fucking special, I just don't think a lot of people are coming back. I don't think they'll care. Uh, and I think there's a very good chance uh, RTD could go woke. I, I don't think nah. that's out of the realm mm. of possibility. 
Well, that would be the that would be the that would be the final nail in the coffin. When when the the ultimate Doctor Who fan, who who re uh, you know breathed life into the franchise again after so long goes woke, that would essentially say that it's it's over. But I got some good news. They don't yeah. have to, they won't have to weather a storm on Twitter because there might not be one because everybody left who would have I people who would have left a fucking uh, who would have been upset about them bringing back a dude of any kind that they're gone now so you're kind of free to do whatever the fuck you wanted and you were all to begin with by the way all along you were free to do whatever you wanted uh and, hey you made the unpopular decision of turning the doctor female and it completely failed you stuck with it you tried you gave it your best shot and that's what you can just tell them it's like hey we tried it you didn't watch it you didn't watch it you didn't support it just like we knew you wouldn't. Uh, Goofosaurus <laughs> with a twenty dollar says, "You talk of the message." Was curious if you have thought on what the end result might be. Conspiracy theorist time: indoctrination to reduce the planet's population and save on resources. Go watch UK Channel Four Utopia. 2014 uh dude the population is is on a down we are slowing yeah and it's we're, not we're on, a, we're on a bit uh, of a elon, a elon musk has spoken about this and so have i uh for anybody who thinks we're an overpopulated planet come on over to america and drive through new mexico just drive through any random part of new mexico or utah or wyoming and tell me we have an over overpopulated planet when you don't see a soul for two hours Hmm. a single human animal or anything yeah same with canada <laughs> it's, it's basically you can drive hours not, without seeing anybody. <laughs> not overpopulated no uh, same I with mexico can... really because i drove through mexico and there was like you know stretches of places that you there's not no one it's no one if everyone in australia jumped up and down at the same time it would actually not be earth office sexy Oh, it wouldn't well, matter because Australia's not real. Oh sure. yeah, that's right. That's it's fake. It's, fake, it's fake news. Same with Canada. Fuck Canada. I'm only joking. I'm just quoting South Park. I really hope that Elon Musk <laughs> does buy Canada as. <laughs> I, I put on yeah. I put on Twitter yesterday. If Elon Musk buys Canada, <laughs> I'm moving to Twitter. Yep. <laughs> yep. I've heard so. I, mean, <laughs> I wonder how many, wonder how many comic book writers and activists are on the, in their cars on the way to Canada right now. In their Teslas. Take it, yeah, yeah, in their Teslas. <laughs> Paid for by PayPal, uh, and then they're going, Papa, Papa, Justin, take us in, take us in, you fascist. Who, who is he on the swing with? In the his UK? wife. Oh wow, that was his wife. Yeah, he was he was uh with, masks on? with a mask on. Him and his wife had masks on on swing together because they are Oh, that's right. Cons! She pegs him every right. night. She pegs him. Yeah. Um I don't know. I think he's he's sucking on a Cuban every night. Ooh. Mm, like like father like son. Like mm. father like son. George not that George. <laughs> B. Pryor with a 10 Australian says, Have a crunchy on me. Oh, I love crunchies. They are quite nice. Mm. I love crunchies. Uh, Aid Robertson with a 18 pound says, Loved as his response to the Verge wanting to leave Twatter. <laughs> I did a Mimology 101 esque type video yesterday 50 seconds long do, 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 did you see that do, 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 mm -hmm. yeah i try to find i tried to find that music i couldn't find it so i, I ended up that's the wee music yeah just look for the wee it's the wee yeah oh no which, which... here hold on here it is hold on. it's 50 seconds so well it's not it's it's 35 seconds but it's got 15 seconds of end fucking outro did you guys see that edit of johnny depp with that music that was funny oh yeah yeah this, this is the momology 
I went with a la 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 instead. <laughs> <laughs> the verge. <laughs> so just a troll account, but it was so funny and it was just so well done. And so many people thought it was Elon Musk as well. I was like, nice, that's too good. It had like 20, like The Verge had like, I don't know, 1.3k likes. That comment had 21k likes at the time that I recorded. That's awesome. Video. That's hilarious. Absolutely uh, ratioed The Verge to hell. Yesterday was a good day, man. Mm -hmm. Today's been a good day as well. Is, I, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to turn to good days. Yeah, yeah. Like, take your white pills have fun it's, 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 it's so funny because yeah. it's like it's like oh brilliant we've got we're gonna have some free speech back on the platform elon's talking you know saying that it's in it's imperative that we have free speech so we're thinking excellent we can express our views on uh vaccines uh we can express our views on politics uh what the comics this that and the other you know uh so that's what we're thinking the left they're just thinking everyone's just going to be spamming n-words yeah that's their version of free speech and white supremacy <laughs> all the swastikas everywhere <laughs> swastikas everywhere <laughs> and we're just we're just giving opinions that you don't like to hear that's that's what scares you it's losing control of the narrative and like you said gary earlier they i think it's either you or mauler they're now worried about how they're going to work within their own system well, they fuck themselves now. It's oh. because they're. I mean, these people are so crazy that like it's like that that famous tweet by Sarah Silverman where she saw like the road signs and she oh. thought it was swastikas. It's like these people just see this shit everywhere. It doesn't she, really no, no, matter. She even just, did it herself. They're lost in ego. They're lost in ego. They don't understand like the slippery slope like applies to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's gonna apply to just us. It's gonna apply to you eventually. Censorship. <laughs> censorship will apply to you eventually yeah h3 h3 like the funniest <laughs> thing i saw before before elon b bought twitter like a few hours before the day before obviously uh you'd seen that person had taken the the video of bill gates uh mm. and then and then put big comical fucking tits on him and then the next day i woke up <laughs> and I, I opened up my ipad <laughs> Just to have a look at my Twitter. And the thing at the top of Twitter on the, like, what to recommend bullshit was fact checkers have said that the video circulated about Bill Gates is actually a fake. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> the one where Bill Gates is walking around with comically large teeth <laughs> is fake? <laughs> Thank you, fact checkers. You fucking earned your paycheck today. <laughs> they're just so desperate to like shut things down and control the narrative and it's just like i am and then elon bought the uh board it's just like days it it's just a meme it fucking changed overnight <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, 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 real it's like they the, it's it's really strange that's just accurate i don't see it i don't see yeah, it i know I corporate no says they're the same image I think they are. That's what you need there. Corporate says it's the same image. God. La 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 la. Um, Believer 1980 has been, has upgraded their membership to a Jedi Master. Thank you. You uh you lovely person. The old guard with a two pound says, as likes daylight. Clearly he's a New Zealander, of course. Uh, Enogma on with a $50. Thank you. Says, great news, wow. Gaddy. What's up? It's time for your word of the day. Oh, great. Cookaburra. Cookaburra. Cook Crackle Barrel? Cookaburra. Cookaburro. Cookaburra. Cookaburro. Burra. Cookaburra. 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 I know, by the way, I, I know what a cookaburra is because I used to play cricket and I used to actually buy, well, 
I didn't have the money to, but I used to borrow my mate's Kookaburra bat. Cracker uh, Kookaburra, definition, a very large Australasian kingfisher that feeds on terrestrial prey such as reptiles and birds. Use the sentence. Oh, my God. When Nina makes love, she makes noises like a kookaburra. What the fuck? Well, that's nice. How do you know? <laughs> and on that bombshell, uh, Uber Roy with a 50 euro. This is confirmed, so confirmed. Wow. Uh, Nina sounds wow. like a kookaburra during the throes of coitus. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, oh, you know, you just said, how do you know? So you confirmed. No, it's like when well, people say, mm. no, it's when yourself. it's like when people say like, you know, I, this thing tastes like shit. And you're like, well, how do you know what shit tastes like? Do you just yeah. describe your well. sexual exposure to shit? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> it's just going down a, just a bad road. This is a bad, yeah, let's, 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 let's move on Let's stop quick. talking now. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about the Beatles instead. Uh, Uber Roy with a 50 euro says, as can you please sing a cover of the Beatles song Penny Lane? Instead of Penny Lane, please sing Memory Lane is in my cinema. Uh, also, did Mauler reach balls yeah, over Wang rank in, in the Scout. Boy Scouts yet? No, that's Australian only, okay? That was the, oh. that was the meme, all right? I can't do it. I don't have access. I know it sucks. Uh, Big Prick with a five pound says, "As how do you how do I get my Twitter account back? I miss contributing memes to Friday Night Tights. One of them once made Chrissy laugh, so I'm basically a comedian now. <laughs> Love <laughs> you. Log into it because yeah. you'll still be able to log into it, and then um, it will say that you're banned." But then you'll have a little uh, hyperlink at the end of it saying, uh, "What? what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what? When you want to... A hyperlink? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God, don't, Gary, please, no. <laughs> uh, I, when you, if you want to, uh, I don't know. God, what's the word I'm looking for? My brain's died. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You want to you want to you want to get it back. So you click the link to retrieve it? Retrieve it? No, it's just there's a certain word. It's not a difficult word either. Reactivate. Appeal. Appeal. Oh, yeah, appeal. appeal. Oh my god. So you click the link to appeal your decision. I know about that word. Yeah. I've tried to appeal a few Jeez, decisions. Jeez, man, yeah. brain dead. Stream brain already. It was listening to fucking Nina's Kookaburra coming. Um, Shame Cat with a $5. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Says, hilarious that the blue check oligarchs have are having a fit now that their control over the common people on Twitter will be diminished. Shame Cat, I'll say this for nothing. If Elon Musk brings in what he said he was going to bring in, and then when every human has been I, uh, authorized, they will be given a blue check mark. Mm -hmm. So if he brings that in, that's what's going to get them mad is everyone is going to have these authenticated people are going to have the blue check marks and they're going to feel that is a loss of power, a loss of status, and they live on this fucking platform. Oh, that, Which is kind of weird today. because they're so into communism and communism is supposed right? to be about equality. But... Isn't it? When everyone's special... No, Nobody's no one special. is. Uh, but there's the a lot of people in a mass grave. Hey, Perry, are you in the chat? Perry Chan, are you in the chat? I Call in Perry Chan. Perry, Perry Chan. Oh, I, I want to make sure I'm allowed to say something. Calling Perry. Oh, calling Perry Chan. Perry Chan, are you in the chat, please? Perry Chan. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> to the front desk. There he is. Yes, he says yes. I'm jerking off. Uh, oh, hey, hey. There he is. <laughs> good boy. Oh, uh, I don't want to interrupt you or anything, but can I talk about um, what you said yesterday about a certain platform? About possibly. Maybe that's why he's jerking off. He might mm -hmm. be. He's been jerking off uh, pretty much since yesterday, since I left. <laughs> <laughs> he's been working on for a of month. Of course. 
because I wouldn't let him jerk off until he finds. <laughs> oh yeah, Perry Chan's coming back to Twitter too. So that's yay! Oh yay! That's good. Good news. Perry Chan. Perry. Turn to Twitter. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Mine's loud. Look, they're passionate. They're just far away. Yeah. Mine stop abruptly. They're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's yep. all we had to say. That's all you got. Nice. Uh, uh, Bushin or Rayu cat. Lots of cats today with a $5. It says, as friends and chat, we got Twitter back. Now, everyone pick one thing Twitter canceled and say, cancel revoked. Me, as. Stanley, an old pervert. Cancel revoked. I, I pick as. Bring his fucking account back. <laughs> I pick Jay Frost. Longbone's original account. She yeah. Got banned. She's trying to get that back. I can't believe Drunk 3 oh. How the fuck did he get his back? What about fuck the, you, Jay? Uh, Jeremy, too, right? Jeremy's got an original account out there. That yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. D-Day Cobra. Yep. Let's um, get that back. I love the I way that Jay Gary, Gary funny, put... Though. Yeah, you should get your account back. It was fucking retarded. That you said all men must die. <laughs> I yeah. was thinking it. I saw like uh what's it Sarah was it Sarah Gonzalez? What's her name? Fernandez. Yeah, Sarah Sarah Gonzalez, Gonzalez, yeah. yeah. Fernandez, some Mexican last name. Who like she was just going wow. off and like, well shit, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna say retarded as much as I can tonight. And I was just like getting into people's mentions going retarded. Dirty. And yeah, Nick Ricada uh, got his name back. No longer mm -hmm. Ricada yes. Media, it's Ricada Law. Yep. Mm. I, I I thought it was funny though because Jay Drunk 3PO went and tweeted the same thing he tweeted that got his account banned the yeah. first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it was, on his it was just music. It was just music. <laughs> yeah, it was the George. Oh Michael yes, song. yes, it was the. Da, 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 yes. Da, da, da. yes. For Gina, that's what he yeah. was doing. He was simping for Gina, and then he's they, always simping for Gina. They flagged him. She's pretty simpable. Let's just say. But it's crazy oh, yeah. that they DMCA'd him on Twitter. Like, who gets DMCA'd on Twitter? <laughs> oh my god! And then he goes, "Why uh, are you after me, man? What did I do? Oh my god, man!" And then he gets speaking of uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a cooker, bro. <laughs> Top tier meme. Cooker, bro. Absolutely. I feel like I look like freaking Tim Pool's sister today. With this. <laughs> <laughs> Except hair. Uh, I don't know. Except that. Except that. Good lord. Oh, there's something like the art of the meme. It can never be too good. It's got to no. be just perfectly bad and this yes. really does yes. hit that. this is yeah. perfect that golden circle of meme <laughs> yeah. you know which is just not the right the right the right dose of terrible <laughs> just... you know i like it when the left the left try meme fun. and they just take a, a, a picture and then they, they put like a speech bubble and then put like a million words in and think they're being fucking funny it's just like <laughs> whoa you know the left can't mean guys left can't mean <laughs> Uh, we now have Ow! Uh, Alcatraz uh, S299 with a $5. It says, good morning, all. Comic Shop had a sale, and I snagged the complete set of Stormbreaker, the Ballad of Beta Ray Bill. Nice. The and then, uh, hold on, no, sorry. That was, you know, yeah, yeah, that was them. And then they follow up with another $5 super chat saying, also... Seeing people justifying female Thor because of the comics, it's uh, was in the comics. And I think we need video showing how bad it really was. Well, you see, they haven't read those comics, so they don't know. They just know that it was in the comics. That doesn't make it good. No. And it's from a, <laughs> it's from when Disney owned the comics. Disney took over the comic books in 2009. They, well, they were the ownership, and they had influence. They absolutely had. and there was a proving right. Do you think everything automatically one of the biggest gripes from anybody, even like a reasonable one, will even go to the most normie was why are you changing everybody all at once with the all new, all different Marvel? All new, all different. Why are you yeah, oh oh rights and ESG and <sighs> political points? It was all all those are the reason. 
all those are the reason. Uh, and, and yeah, it's, it's not hard if you've been on YouTube since, you know, 2015, you saw this argument play out already with the comic books when it happened in the comic books. And the same argument is being made. If it was a different character, we'd be okay. Calling her Thor is retarded. Uh, and the reason they're calling her Thor is they want to replace Thor with a female, just like they wanted to replace Doctor Who, not add a new female character. They want to replace a male character. There we there. <laughs> ah, I like that. I, maybe I should put one out. Handwritten. Kind of like Bilbo. Like Bilbo. On parchment. Concerning nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely put that out. With the leather bound and everything. It'll be amazing. We're a simple folk. Uh <laughs> Not very wise. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love that part so much. That makes uh, it, that makes the whole fucking trilogy right there. It's that so chill. It's so fucking cool. Yep. So cool. George Kessler with a ten dollars says, uh, "Hey Gary, if they want to bring in a character who wielded the hammer, other than Thor, why not bring in Beta Ray Bill instead? Yes. A much more beloved Thor alternative." Absolutely. Weird how they didn't call him Thor 2. Why? Why wouldn't Thor they call Thor. him that, you know? Yeah. Why didn't they do that? What Why a weird choice Thor. they made. Why not make likable female characters that that oh, not not just half mm. of the span audience likes that everybody likes? Uh, that would be great. I think that would probably work. Uh dude, women aren't there to appeal to your likability. <laughs> Um, How would you guys like react if they made Cat Man and it was just Catwoman but a guy in a cat suit? Big, cat big. Boy? That that uh, that exists. Yeah, um, I was gonna say more. that exists. No, cat like Man a, is, a, Cat Man is a character in in it, DC. In well, I'm saying so in a movie, oh. like they cast you know fucking Catwoman and, and they just cast <laughs> Nick Quentin. They cast a dude. Uh, we were definitely heading straight for that. I think we might have missed that by this much depending on what comes out in the next year that's already been shot but i think we were very close to that i oh, mean we have a dude in a suit playing a woman for an entire movie called black widow we had a well, guy they, they were called taskmaster but yeah <laughs> that was a man in the suit and it was supposed to be a female character but it was like what you could tell like by the walk because dudes walk a certain way because we have things hanging between our legs that women don't <laughs> so it affects how we walk uh yeah it affects how we do everything yeah uh, literally Gary, yeah. how dare you i had hey, briefly well, forgotten the existence of that fucking movie yeah now here oh, we are you gotta go of your penis yeah <laughs> I, I was like wow really well, yeah there, whoa Mola. that's just showing off there more oh, just, i that, just forgot about this monster between my legs and yeah. on that natalie portman workout i'm still waiting to see the evidence i'm still waiting to see it i've heard People say that. People go, well, they said it. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to take Disney at their word. Mm. Uh, I think she did a Captain Marvel-esque workout. She could probably got in decent shape. Uh, putting on like 20, 30 pounds with a woman that kind of frame. could I, It can be done. Uh, not legally, but it can be done. Uh, but I, I, I can rip. I can pull up a picture from her three months before they started shooting Thor Love and Thunder. And she is not in shape. At, not even in normal shape. Did, did you see the, the reface app somebody did of her, like on somebody that had actually worked out? <laughs> no, yeah, well, like... I was just about to say, somebody sent me that, and I think they were being serious. They were just like, look, see? And it was like this this proper bodybuilding. Well, not proper, but she's I, like, I'm you sharing know. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. this. Yeah, they sent they sent me this, and they're just no, like, no. see, there's a picture. And I was so like, I don't know if this person's taking the piss. Or if they're legit, but I'm, I was like, I don't want to like be rude and just go back to them going, um, you do know that's like a Photoshop. Absolutely. Yeah. Photoshop. This Here. is a reface app. I think somebody it's posted a... like the actual photo. There it is. Um, oh, there, yeah, there. Okay. okay. I'm I'm sharing a picture. I'm gonna share a picture. This was it's it's not dated in this picture, but it is it's uh, a fake. It's uh, real. This is from it's the Daily fake. Mail, October third. 2020 so that is th 
three months before she started filming Thor, Love and Thunder. Here we go. That is three months before she starts filming Thor, Love and Thunder. Damn. Now, can you fix that in three to th- yeah, possible, but it's the most insane fucking workout. Maybe she did. And that would be something she would be blasting everywhere. Were they not showing Chris Hemsworth before, you know, because of his Hulk Hogan movie before, like they were showing his workouts. So I've, I, again, it could be real. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying that Hollywood is usually pretty good at promote. This would be a great promotion for the film. Look at, now yeah, like the before <laughs> after is is a really good promotion. And usually, I mean, yes, Marvel does have like teams of people that they assign to you to get you in shape and to, yeah, to certain with things. Right. It's just yep. take drugs mm-hmm. in here, steroids in your ass. Oh, well, but I, I haven't seen them do it with women. I've only yeah. seen them do it with men. Don't so I don't know. I mean, steroids you would... until you try them, ask. <laughs> I, I, I had to go on them once. Yes, yeah, I had, to, I had to walk. I had to have a blue card in my wallet for a year, that in case I got pulled over by the police and required to be drug tested, that they would find steroids in my system, and they would be uh, medically approved uh, steroids. I mean, I I just think that it would be really good promotion, and also like it it would stop the hate hateful people that are commenting and like you know making all these. Things. You could you could argue and put out that evidence and say like, look, she's she's doing this, and it's like, no, I don't. I don't well, she know. did it great, awesome. I just yeah. I they just put a guy in a suit and told us it was a woman through an entire movie. So I'm gonna be a little skeptical. Based on that. Yeah. Based on previous evidence. I mean, and it's also really possible that they're going to have a body double for her. That's like completely buff. Double, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It, that, that Which could work. Fine. I mean, Which is fine. I'm sure Chris yeah. Hemsworth's like, wait a minute. <laughs> we can do that. I don't have to like eat egg whites. For no, I, I think, uh, I think he said that he's kind of very modest when it comes to his stuff. Cause you know, he's like, buff as fuck he obviously puts mm-hmm. in the work and uh, whenever i've seen him be interviewed uh about anything physical he just he just big ups the stuntmen that's all he does he's just like mm. you know i i'm like get my shirt off and then it's just like cut and then the stuntman will come in and he'll do all the hard work and i've just kind of like done and i've, I've seen him be super friendly and accommodating in like all of his interviews and then of course you have Unlike many other actors, I imagine, he wore a fucking fat suit for the biggest movie of all time. Like, you could imagine an actor being like, I am refusing to fucking look like a fat person and, and you know, whatever. But no, he 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 embraced it. He's always, um, it seems to me he's always done what he's, he's he can for the, you know, the creator of the current movie to realize their vision. Um, I really like him. Uh, uh, and I think that it sucks that Thor hasn't been handled that well at all. No. Um, mm. After That's a very everything. inconsistent character in the Marvel MCU. He's, it is, and it's too He's bad. A great casting for it. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he fantastic casting. casting. Yeah, I think it's like close. Robert Downey Jr. Perfect. Henry Chris Cavill. Evans, perfect. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Perfect. Cavill. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I think. I think Ben Affleck. Perfect. But yeah, me too. Yeah. Mark mm-hmm. Ruffalo. What well uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not even a good Bruce Banner. No. No. Not anything. They haven't done anything with him. He's so. fucking awful. Do you guys see that that cut scene? I can't remember if we talked about it. The thing they cut from Infinity War that explains how we even got Professor Hulk. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I don't think I've seen it. I don't remember. It's, it's basically a scene where Banner's losing in the in uh, Veronica to the big brute guy, and okay. he says like Hulk, you gotta gotta help me, otherwise you know it's the end of the world, man. And then mm-hmm. uh, they both argue with each other about how much they hate each other and consider the other like a fucked up version of themselves until they they're like we, then we gotta work together, you know, just the the thing that probably should have been in a fucking Hulk movie, yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, they, they, and they cut the scene, and so now we just have he's not Professor Hulk, and then he is. And you're like, oh, okay. It's kind of like killing the Kraken off screen. Hey, do you know, do you know who the fuck. best Bruce Banner was? Who didn't even play Bruce Banner? Played David Banner. Bill Bixby. Bill Bixby was perfect. Bring back Eric Banner. 
Eric Banner. Banner. I like Eric Banner. But he's too busy. Hi, I'm Nero. <laughs> so did all of you guys give up on Moon Knight? Is it just no, uh, yeah, I did. Oh, I watched it. I watched it. I I watched episode four, the one that everyone has been saying was amazing and shocking. I what? What? Who says that? I heard it was terrible and I don't, awful. <laughs> I don't even want to name some of the people I saw saying episode four was the good one because it upset me. I was like, <gasps> oh, I hope it's good. Then me, Rags, free watched it. We were like, this fucking ass. This can, we, ass. can we talk Still about ass. it for like a minute, please? It's, yeah, yeah. Because it, it's you got the sixty opposite. seconds. <laughs> Um, they they do a they do a big bullshit where he wakes up in like a mental asylum sterile place and they're waiting like <laughs> yeah <laughs> alternate crazy bullshit. Uh, they haven't fully explained it yet, but I found it all to be incredibly annoying and stupid. Um, I can't Did believe you... they argue over whether or not they killed Lady's dad when they're literally holding like the key to saving the universe and they yeah. need to leave the fucking room. Did, and the you... woman has to make it about her. Thank you, yep. Gary. The, the whole freaking time, she okay. She freaking killed that monster by herself. I was thinking if, uh, they're gonna at least make it so that he comes and rescues her, like you know, at last nope. minute or some shit. No, nope. he fuck. She fucking kills that thing, and then she's like hanging off the fucking cliff. They do the cliff scene with her, like the fucking Gladriel thing, and she like, fucking pulls herself back up. And like, I'm just like, this this bitch can do like everything. Like she can do, she could do no wrong. I was like. This this is this is just insane. It's just getting insane. Meanwhile, he's like having a conversation. How many times with, up? Right. Go uh, back to he her. Oh. Him on with... <laughs> no, no. Didn't so, even go back to her. He was like, I'll no meet Moon you Knight. somewhere else. <laughs> no Moon Knight. No Mr. Knight. It's all S Steven, basically. And he is following around Layla, who is leading him around. She has the big fight, which is in the dark. Nobody could fucking see it against some random. Uh, bad guy mystic who can live forever. I mean, like needed a little more explanation. It's who was mummified? Fell off. Yeah, whose <laughs> arm fell off. Could keep fighting, no problem. Used his bone, uh, tries to stick, and then, and then, she, no, no, she fights off a fifty caliber fucking gun with a fucking flare. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. And mm -hmm. like, oh I guess god, that scene was terrible. Oh my god! If you just set him on fire, will blow up. Uh, yeah, with the flare, which is that. The, it's not how and, it then, works. and then Gary, the, the, the best part is uh fucking you have Steven or Mark waking up going, Whoa, you're amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my yes. god. Like, oh my god. The, the the entire like he's she's trying to get away from that car and she's like going around. She's like, you know, goes in the car, she's like lying down. I'm like, okay, at least like you know, she's trying to get away from him, whatever. And then she's like, Fuck this, I'm the best ever. I'm gonna fucking take this car off. Like, what Looking the flare? And somehow they miss her with that big fucking machine gun, <laughs> right? Uh, in the middle of the night where she's got like lights sharing at it. I, uh, out of the I was genuinely confused watching that scene. I didn't know what they were telling me. I was like, why aren't they killing her? And it's like, yeah. do they not want to kill her? And it's like, no, they do. They're just not. And you're like, oh, okay. That the other thing, by the way, when they split up for no reason at all in the mm -hmm. uh, in the catacombs, whatever the fuck that place is, yes. and he, she's walking around for a while, does a little Tomb Raider moment of jumping from piece to piece to piece, and then you have, the, she yes. looks at the shadow, the thing grabs her, she moves on, she has a big talk with the villain, she has a big fight with the thing. Mm -hmm. I legit at one point was like, why the fuck do you have so much screen time? I don't care about yes, you. It's like, what's too. going on with Moon Knight? These are, uh, these are Kevin Feige notes that are being put in to uh so so moon knight uh in the four episodes we've gotten 11 minutes and 38 seconds of moon knight mr knight if you take away mr knight who isn't even the fucking character from the comics uh it's about seven minutes of moon knight mostly I... in the middle two episodes because he wasn't in, in at all the last episode in the first episode he was in for what 30 seconds so i mean in this he wasn't he was barely in it and in the final scene when he's like they meet that hippo thing and they both scream i'm like why is mark a bitch now i don't understand like why is he such a little bitch like that he's gonna i don't know mark would have pulled it tried to like reflexively gone for a weapon to kill it mm -hmm. that's what mark specter would have done uh and yeah it's some hippopotamus god and of course it's a girl it's, it's uh, a girl she's like hey Hi. 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 And then they go, oh, and that's when they fucking everybody goes, oh my God, Marvel. You
Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so um Oh, I want to speak again. Man, look at that behavior. Ooh. Look at next time you start going off on Elden Ring, I know what to fucking do. Damn. I was gonna you say, always we, do we, anyway. We need Elon to buy out real BBC to stop. I was got, you start I pulling I a half in your corner and I know I just start bagging and boarding comics what this fucking show is supposed to be about, by the way. I'm the one who, like, brings the props every time. I got, I got him! One percent of one show goes to Moon Knight and as just goes dictator. Wow. Uh, I, I, wow. Well, I'm, I'm glad he censored you guys, too, because I was just about to start fucking losing my shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> right, so... Uh, and knock <laughs> my mom. <laughs> with with a five dollars says uh, by the way gary uh yesterday's were the day will probably in your square up i did it i did a word <laughs> uh i did <laughs> unless that was on friday night tights i got uh i got a uh a late super chat from you during the credits so check during the credits because if you popped it in, I, I saw that fifty dollar and I I did it during the credits. I don't know if you missed it or not. I don't know if that was word of the day though. Yeah, my memory's not very good. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> it is for nerd shit, for like normal life stuff. It's yeah. uh, it's fleeting. Yeah. <laughs> it's fleeting. Hey, as yeah, knock knock. <sighs> I knew it. I knew um, you were gonna. The oh. Chevalier de Lis. Uh, <laughs> what well, I. I didn't want to answer the door. It's misogyny. You I didn't want to answer the door. So sexist. I'm doing a show. I can't answer the door. I'm doing a fucking show here. Well, Who's that's there? bullshit because if Sideshow came to your fucking door right now, you'd be off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, he, he knew what was coming. He knew where that joke was guys. going. Guys, you know, uh, you pee yeah, again. it was, it was Trailer Park Boys. Moon Knight when he goes off for one of his urinations <laughs> gary i just say urination because i don't want to say kidney dialysis so. <laughs> okay, or okay. what perry chan admitted to in the chat uh yeah well perry chan at least is <laughs> enough to admit it you know mm-hmm. there was a person in the chat the other day uh and he said uh he says as i'm on kidney dialysis and uh, said some other stuff and i was like okay dude I don't want to say the piss out of you. Oh. He loved it. He loved it. That's he good. loved it. He that's, loved it. He, he, he laughed his ass off. I'm glad they had a good sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's because normal people come here. Normal yeah. people come here. Yeah. How do you explain you? <laughs> well, <laughs> that might take some time, darling. <laughs> Le Chevalier de Lys has been a Jedi Master for 23 months. And they say, love you guys and Nina. Uh, hey. I will have to watch after my shift. Have a good Friday night tights. I love my new job. Lunchtime. I'm having hot dogs and pizza with pineapple. P.S. Oh. Any plans on... Well, it says any pans, but I'm going to reckon there's an L meant to be in there. Any plans on finishing Babylon 5? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. I gotta probably I'll rewatch it again. Yes, because of my memory. <laughs> yes. But um, I dude, I'll do it this weekend. Fuck it. I've got a little time, and I gotta finish the office, and I have to play something while I'm finishing the office. And Babylon Five's it. Fuck it. Love B Five. Sometime. Um, but I, were, I, I was loving it as well. But I I, I watched so much so quick. I kind of burnt burnt myself out a bit, mm. and then it took me too long. Before I could feel like I wanted to watch While it again. And then working, I was just like, I need... You got to work on your apartment this weekend. You can like yeah. play it in the background and especially the parts you've seen already. And then like pay attention to the parts we haven't mm. seen, you know? Mm. Mm. I'm going to do. Mm. Um, Ian with a $10. Wow. Somebody just got Ian as a name on YouTube. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, with I, a $10 I, on YouTube. I don't know. Ian. Uh, hail Gabby! Have you read the Chip Sadarsky Devil uh, Daredevil run? Razor said it's good. Uh, I will Az not and read. Hmm? No, I will sorry. not read anything by that. 
the one of the guys who was uh, they just know. No. What is this writer's name? Chip Zdarsky. He's one of the crop of the all new, all different bullshit. Fuck them all. Uh, I didn't like the Mark Wade run. Uh, Ray, Ray, I mean, if Razor says, I got to probably listen to that recommendation, but uh, Razor and I agree on the Mark Wade run on uh, Daredevil, which was utter shit. And it was after a great run by Brew Baker. Uh, and then Bendis. Bendis's run was great. Uh, I know he's a, a, tw- a twat, but his fucking Daredevil run was great. He was great. I mean, he's certainly not anymore. Fucking destroyed Superman, the well, bell. the old days when I could go to Bendis and we could just hang out and talk about comic books and punk rock and not politics. That's what that's what was cool about fandom, which we cannot enjoy anymore. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, man. Oh, man. Uh, Poison. Oh, sorry. Uh, as and Mola, why do British people always pronounce YouTube <laughs> you tube c h e w b take care big smiles well you. wait he does i don't i say youtube YouTube. i say youtube we, we say youtube because you want to eat it <laughs> which is totally fair by the way i just yeah, yeah i'm a hungry boy i'm a much more posh britishman youtube youtube youtube, YouTube is common youtube, YouTube. No, that's well spoken. You no, it's YouTube. YouTube. It's well spoken. <laughs> YouTube. Tube. YouTube. 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 <laughs> it's like how do you say fucking right, ladies and gentlemen? Let's uh <laughs> Do you go bube or boob? Boob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes yeah, I say boobs. It depends how you spell it. If you spell it B E W B S, then yeah, boob. Boob. And well, if it's B O O B, boob. I think it's a New Zealand boobies. thing. That's probably why he's saying it. It's definitely a New but, Zealand But boob is spelled B O O B, and mm-hmm. tube is spelled T U B E. <laughs> Same thing, though. Hey, you invented the fucking language. Don't ask me. Yes! You probably want to put an H in there somewhere or fucking a W. Use. the fuck. Color, like C L O U R or Q U. Color. I know that because we spell that. Color is C L O U R. Yeah, that's what that's what it's like in. You missed out an O. You missed an O. C L O U. It's not C L. The O L. Flower. Flower. My brain. My brain is gone. Look what happens when we bring. She went into bimbo mode. I did. It's true. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Brittany Venti yeah, way too long. Too way much. too long. They'll do it. Uh, <laughs> Poison Dart 77 <laughs> with a $50 says, Hail, real BBC. Meltdowns regarding Twitter are glorious, particularly on a certain progressive gaming forum. Have a great week. G4? Um, I, I, the thing is, that could be so many. Yeah, <laughs> could th- be IGN, are. G4, uh, GameStar, <laughs> you know, GameSpot. You know what? I mean, G4 just had an anniversary that they didn't acknowledge uh, uh, at all, but Chris Gore did mm-hmm. with his doc, Attack of the Doc. Go check his Twitter feed. He's got a trailer on it. Looks fucking awesome. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, Chris Gore, he's really good people. Yeah, he he's really good I, people. I like him. He's great. Uh, George Kessler's back with a five dollars. Says my favorite western is the outlaw Josie Wales, as well, Gary. It is full of such memorable lines as "Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining." Mm-hmm. I heard that on Judge Judy. She she said, "Don't piss on me." No, her book's called "Don't piss on me and tell me it's raining." Yeah, I, I Judy's based. There was a, oh hell yeah, one of Hassan's clips when he was talking about Jay's video. He was like, "Don't p- piss on, don't be. You're pissing and you're saying it's ra- <laughs> don't piss on me and tell me I should be happy because of the rain. <laughs> don't piss on." And we were just listening to it like, "Oh my god, <laughs> just... oh my god!" He pulled like a George Bush with a "Don't <laughs> <"Boom me." laughs> Wow. The thing is, I could hear, I could see that, I could see it, and I could hear it in my mind. 
And with his, with his just, he's just like fucking face trying to think of words. <laughs> uh, I got, I got to address something in the chat here. Uh, Dangerous Dempsey says that he or she does not exist to be easy on the eyes for me. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> you oh. yes, certainly do. You're damn right. I can say all I'm, of us certainly exist to be yeah, easy on the eyes. check. I have been objectifying the chat this entire show. There you go. Post to check in. Actually, object. You're welcome, chat. All of you. <clears throat> my back has been aching. I do need to correct my posture. I had, I had a right. I was so worried I was going to get a trapped nerve because I was getting a lot of pain in a certain spot on my neck. I was like, oh, fuck. If I get a trapped nerve, I'm going to go fucking Dude, I shit. wake up every, every time after a video, I wake up with that because, you know, if I'm staring at the screen for eight hours a day i'm sure perry can relate too so, i'm yeah, actually I really glad you ask for those because sometimes i'm like literally slouching and i need to sit up and mm. i do that can i just you ask you a question check for those sure um <clears throat> is your bra wire made out of fucking titanium yes <laughs> it, it certainly looks it looks like a fucking right. girder going across the bottom yeah. of the bra there it, it just just i hate bras man fucking hate like bras um channel surf with a five dollar says hail as and gary yes. has your x06 spock arrived yet hi nina and mola oh. y'all rock hello no it's in transit uh for some reason the x06 i think the x06 six stuff ships from hong kong uh and it they stick it on the slow boat from china yeah. Um, so it takes about six weeks or so to get here. So probably be here in about a month because it was sent about two weeks ago. I'm gonna get one second. <clears throat> I don't want to give money to Paramount. By the way, the underwire is like boob armor. Boob armor. Yeah. Boob armor. Mm. Yeah. It helps keep armor. everything in place and nice and I know I'm wearing one. Mm. Mm. Uh Von Max, not a bra, <laughs> just wire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. One max with a two points your boat, I guess. Um, buoyancy. Way. <laughs> That's that literal. <laughs> that will float your boat. <laughs> Von Max with a two dollar fifty says, "Do you have a favorite Lego set? Any Lego dream set? Oh man, I could go." Does anyone else want to answer this question before I go off on for 15 minutes? Go on. Go on, Nina. I don't... Um, no, go ahead, Gary. Go first. Well, I don't own any Legos. Oh, Wait, no, man. that's not that's not true. I have the TARDIS Lego uh, 12th Doctor console that I have not put together. Uh, my favorite Lego set is the one I don't step on. Go. Um, my favorite Lego set is the old school Legos where you can use your fucking imagination to build whatever the hell you want and not be, you know... Uh, a cog in the machine. Yes, I like having just Legos. That's what I like. Thank you. Uh, I'm I'm a <clears throat> major fan of castles, Lego castles. Hmm. Um, the hidden side stuff was really nice. I do have so much stuff to build, but the Daily Bugle is looking really fun to build. And I gotta say, right now that blacksmith just there, Lego blacksmith. I adore, absolutely adore. Uh, for a dream set, I've heard a rumor. I don't know if they're going to do it, but I've heard a rumor that um, they are going to be bringing out a big Lego, a new Lego castle sometime later this year. So if they do, I would, I would probably do a coom in my pants. Oh, that's mm. nice. Hmm. Do you do any Legoing, Mola? Not really. When I was younger, I spent more time with Hot Wheels and Lego, but I still like mm. uh, both of them. Are you so happy then that Jar Jar Abrahams is making a Hot Wheels movie? Why in the fuck? What the fuck? Didn't you know? No. <laughs> got, it got announced yesterday, I think. <laughs> what the okay. fuck? Okay. Uh, Bad no. right reboot. Jar Jar Abrahams is going to be doing a Hot Wheels movie. Yay! I mean, anything that keeps him away from Superman for longer, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's fucking goddamn. Space Lego. I used to love Space Lego. Uh, L L nine two eight. I still remember 
the um, registration of the spaceship that I got for, um, I think, my ninth birthday. LL928. Um, Johan Naxos has been a Jedi Master for three months uh, in the annoying SJW voice. I host a podcast on the internet. It has hundreds of views. You should listen to me because I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Wow. I'm convinced. Yeah. Yeah. Go, everyone, go listen to uh, Johan Naxos's uh, uh, podcast with hundreds of views. Okay. Um, we've got nearly 5,000. Had to over 5,000. Yeah. Not my mom with a five dollars says, What does a doll point to to show where as touched it? It points to me, doesn't it? I mean... The poor look. If that. Superman's grassing me up, fuck it, whatever, man. Ooh, what whatever, is that, Gary. Ooh, you're getting uh, oh, Nazgul Steed and Nazgul. Got a Nazgul, but this is the Steed, yes. Mm. Do you. not come. Oh. I can't. Thinking about it, I do have a Nazgul on pre-order. Not the steed, but I do have a Nazgul on pre-order. Mm. Yep. Uh, while you're People opening are saying that, pull I'm... it out, Gary. <laughs> whip it out. Excuse me while I whip this eye out. Uh, Elf and Jedi with a five dollars says, "I don't think they do hear themselves." Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're referring to. Uh, no, I think they hear themselves all right. They just they just don't know what the fuck to do. Wow, that looks awesome. I do have a Batman on steed uh, with Batman Samurai from Batman Ninja. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, downstairs and open. I mean, you got to find a black steed, and there's certain. I'm sure they'll they'll make them available. Uh, mm. I mean, these things, but yeah. The North Ghoul. They stand. They did a um, a mouth of Sauron on Steed as well. I got that. Ooh, ooh. And, but yeah, comes in weird directions. Uh, physical graffiti with a fourteen Zargon says, "Hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi. How you doing?" She thought it. She nearly didn't say it. I, had to, I was, I had to I was wait. looking I had at to a wait. meme of myself from the freaking Uber Geek. Is that the one with cum coming out of your mouth? <laughs> no. Because oh, there's no. one with By cum the way, that was mouth. drool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. You got very white drool. <laughs> hey, Marks with that's, a one that's artistic uh, expressions. Okay. Sure. That's All that's right. the Uber Geek there for you. Okay. Okay. You've you've done it. You've but done he, it now. But here it I wasn't going to post this. I wasn't going to post this. And I said in the private hey, chat, I'm not going to post this. Hey, that's but now the I'm going to fucking post it. Okay? <laughs> now I'm going to fucking post it because I, 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 want the chat. I want the chat. You want the chat to see I want the chat to decide whether, whether Nina is drooling or cooming <laughs> from the mouth. It, that's drool. It was supposed to be drool, and I was drooling over the abs, and he yeah. said cock, but it was abs. I was looking at the other <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, the it? one that I'm sharing right now. And I will I'm share hearing. that. I will share the other one. But I'm just, I'm just seeing what the chat's saying. <laughs> Nina I, swallows. This is going really everyone's well. Everyone's saying drool. I think liar. the drools Not have everyone. it. The drools have it. We've got both. It's drool. We've got an oh dear. <laughs> oh man, chat, you disappoint me. Thank you, chat. Whatever. Simps, the fucking right, that's it. It goes. <laughs> this is the one I'm about. I'm just gonna casually keep moving my tits so the lads think I'm important and notice me. <laughs> Hashtag independent woman. That is absolutely perfect. Thank you. Oh. That is true. <laughs> oh. oh, hold on. Good effort. <laughs> they're trying. They're trying. They're trying. They are trying. Come on. 
Wait, is that the one that you were looking at, Gary, or is it another one? The, the, what, let me see. The one where you, uh, I was looking at the one where they, you shift your boobs to get everybody's attention. Okay, that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One. I do. It works for me. Sorry. I was, I was also looking at uh, that person who was talking about like the, me not reading comics. I have responses ready for later. I just, it'll be funny. <laughs> okay. There's another one that's really funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's one. You don't know how she got the job. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> wow there's no casting couches in youtube okay calm down no yeah. there's casting like gaming the, chairs it's a parasocial couch that's what it is <laughs> god damn it <laughs> freaking fml Marksman of 117B with a five dollar says, "As remember your stream with Jay, I mentioned sending anime. Finally, it should arrive today. Uh, also, have a Final Fantasy VII related poster heading your way. Ooh, Ooh. enjoy. Thank you, dude. Um, the post has been today. So." <laughs> <laughs> this was good. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Uh, the post has been today, so it hasn't arrived today. So fingers crossed uh, tomorrow, <laughs> dude. But uh, looking forward. Thank you. Um, sent some lovely stuff, man. And uh, Final Fantasy VII poster. That gets me excited. Uh, Brian McCann has been a Force-sensitive member for eight months. And they say, Ghostwire, save the souls. Uh, to my members who are force sensitive level and above, above, I have a playthrough ongoing uh, of Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm going to be honest with you. I've, toast, I've posted this out earlier today uh, in the um, community section. I've already finished it. It's in the can. So I'm going to filter the remaining episodes over the next couple of days. Uh, and so I'm already thinking, let's just give it a couple of weeks to sit. And then um, we need another game to play. We need another game to play. But uh, yeah, Brian, I see you. I see you posting. So I appreciate you uh, posting in those uh, member videos. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see off the souls. Oh, concerning nerds, Gary. <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> I'll get right on it. Nerds are a first step towards the alt right. <laughs> That's <laughs> like a manifesto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, mine, mine I... ring. <laughs> mine ring. Oh my god. Which two? Ooh. Uh, Papacotti. You're not a member. Are you a member? You can't contribute if you're not a member. But that's a good idea, actually. Uh, knock them on again with a ten dollar. You've been insanely generous the last few days. Where well, you're just insanely generous in in general, but the last last few days you've been in, insane. And uh, thank, oh god, that looks beautiful. Oh wow, wow. Oh, this is this wow. is what gets the one Gorgeous. in sixes uh, collectors wet. Yeah. God damn, that is beautiful. Oh man! Doesn't have a big horse dong though. Uh, oh. Nina, Tra Travis McKay says, yeah, "Can you um?" Sorry, hold on. There we go. Uh, they said, uh, "Can you please move the mic?" Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Sexism in the workplace. How about no? I, I am so proud of chat. <laughs> Love you. Fucking love you. Um, best name I can think chat of with a five heroes. dollars is huh? I chat with my heroes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I scream with my heroes. Uh best name I can think of with a five dollars is Ryan is uh honorary because of his Abdullah Ablongata. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. What's that mean? You don't know what that is? What are you not no. a doctor? damn not educated? Wow. No, I'm not That's part of the brain, it, right? I'm a, I'm a yes. thicko. I learned that from Waterboy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I didn't learn that from Waterboy. I've heard of the amygdala. Oh, funny. Because I'm always raging anyway. So, you know, I'm I'm aware of the amygdala. But... Gary, about that horse. 
<laughs> Whoa, Nina, be very careful. Very think, careful with where you go next with this. This okay? is going to sound really weird, but is it? Is oh, it... my. What, okay, yeah. All right. Um, oh, you got to keep. Gotta... I want A. What was that? This is going to sound really <laughs> weird, weird, but is it soft or is it hard? <laughs> um, it's soft, Nina. It's very oh. soft. So you can like pet it? You can pet, oh, it. pet the little Nazgul steed that's coming to kill you all. Yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to know. I was curious. That gets washed away. Mm. Dies a horrible drowning death thanks to Gandalf. Elrond. <laughs> Go Gandalf. And, well, Arwen in the movie. It's Arwen, but it's actually Elrond and Gandalf using their magic. And Glorfindel. Or a Glorfindel. Oh my God! Uh, well, Lord of the Rings. I know you're gonna. It's gonna set you off. Uh, Daniel has been a member at the Stormtrooper level for eight months. Thank you, Daniel. Channel Surf has been a has just become a Stormtrooper member. So thank you, Supersonic Nate with a two dollars. Says, "Holy crap! Have you seen just some guys Twitter followers?" Oh my god, uh, that thing was hilarious. I mean, thing. Yeah, we, we kind of talk, I talked about this. When JST. did we talk about this? Uh, oh yeah, I talked about this on Dying, the Dying Light 2 stream with Quarter Black. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I mean, I mean, I, you know. <clears throat> it's sad. Um, I, it's all weird. Uh, Daniel with the $5 says, DeSantis defeats Disney. Musk defeats Twitter. Oh, will Russell T. Davis actually destroy the timeless child? Dare we hope the good news continues? Oh, Daniel, 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 Daniel. I really, 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 really fucking hope so. I'm out. I'm out if he doesn't put it that way, regardless of who the doctor is. I'm out if he doesn't. I've been out, but I'll come back if it gets good. <laughs> well, I mean, Chris Chibnall's not going to come out and say they're going to ignore it. That's calculated, okay? That's not like some off-the-cuff comment. Uh, and mm. we still have the final episode of Jody, and all that you saw, that <laughs> Time Lord fucking Cybermen are coming back. The ma the Master's coming back. Every character Everyone's coming back. involved in the Timeless child Children, including potentially the Doctor's parents. Remember? Because we thought that Grey Worm... Oh, would, yeah. So this is going to be like the Spider-Man of Doctor Who, like everyone and their mom is coming back. <laughs> well, it's from the bat last bullshit. No, I think I, what as is going, I think they're going to double down on Timeless Children. Oh, I think they, yeah. oh without doubt. They're gonna, and Yaz and the Doctor are going to snog. And, and then so all of all of Pride Twitter are going to go, oh my God, because they don't care about Doctor Who. They just want two women to snog. Because they never like the franchises. They've never liked the franchises. They just want them to do the thing that they want them to do. Which in this case is scissoring. By snog, do you mean fucking scissoring? Fucking scissoring. Hmm. If all the of you... Could, uh, if all you if, yeah, get into Greek mythology if you want like all your characters to fuck. I mean, that you know. Hmm. There's a lot of that in those. Yeah. I'm really going to this uh, era of Doctor Who. It's great. <clears throat> Is it, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to really miss us making you watch these episodes that you refused to watch before? Oh, we're just yeah, like I said, I, I was out <laughs> earlier than most people, and then I get brought back in on the fucking embers of the Jodie Whittaker era. It's like, what a great time to come back. <laughs> hey, you know, at least I'll understand what this, this changeover. It'll be interesting to watch whatever they end up doing, but man, if they fuck it up, Doctor Who ain't come back, man. It's gonna get it's just gonna get buried. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh, no. They did it to themselves. The BBC knew what they were doing, and they were doing ideological fucking shit. Yep. No, I mean, like, poor fuck Doctor Who is a character, like, just generally, because yeah. yeah, yeah. oh, a yeah, good totally. character. Yeah. Like, it was. Just, was. Madman was a Perfect analogy. 
You a madman with a box? Oh. Mm. Oh, be very, very aware. I am definitely a madman with a box. It's big around the inside. I love it. <sighs> Thanks for telling us that, Nina. Um, Eskimo no Fono hey, with a twenty dollar long overdue. They said, "Hey, dudes, good to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time. Good to see you, man. Uh, thank you." And virtual loner with a fifty dollar says, "Did you see the Twitter thread between <laughs> between Zuby and Richard? Uh, can you bring this one up, Nina? Yeah, I yeah, it was great. Uh, between Zuby and Richard Hanania." I think uh, it yeah. was a good demonstration of what's going on today. It's on Tim Pool's timeline. Uh, but, yeah, it was hilarious. It was hilarious, but apparently that guy's trolling because I fell for it too in his previous tweet. But apparently he's trolling, like he's like a troll dude. Okay, here it is. I think. Oh wait, sorry, I'm scrolling through. Okay, here it is. Um, here it is. Uh, yeah, so uh, Richard says uh, Elon Musk takes over Twitter. He's a billionaire who doesn't even have a master's degree. Um, you just said he's a billionaire that doesn't have a master's degree. Which one is the most important there? I don't know. Uh, is that who we're going to trust with the future of our democracy? What, the billionaire that didn't need a master's degree? So Zuby says, yes. So Richard responds with, how does that make you as a black man? Uh, how does that make you feel as a black man? There are young black men with degrees living in poverty as we speak. A lot of white ones and Asian ones and brown ones. I'm actually a black woman, says Zuby. Please don't <laughs> my gender. I'm sorry, replied Richard. Even with a PhD in JD, I still don't always get it right. I appreciate you correcting me and your words will guide me going forward. Oh my god. But apparently this whole thing is like a fucking troll. See, it's a troll, but damn, it's so good. We fell for it. And it's true, oh. I fell for it too. I was like, what? Because I, I made fun and I was like, I bet you this guy listens to Bill Gates for his vaccine needs because, you know, <laughs> Bill Gates has No, 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 you got it wrong, man. He listens to Bill Gates for his exercise needs. Yeah, well, because Bill Gates has a medical degree and everyone has to listen to him and everything, you know. You know how that goes. When you can never Bill tell Gates what's satire anymore. Bell end. I know, I, that's the irony. I don't even know who the Richard guy is, so I just thought it was Zuby slapping a bitch. That's what I thought, too. Uh, the Grizzly with the $20 says, Never forget that H3H3 Ethan was the guy who said, You don't even have to think, bro. Just do whatever the authority tells you. And when Stephen Crowder called him out, he hired someone else to debate him and hid. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Crowder uh, got him to come onto the show, and then instead of him coming on, he he brought someone else onto the show instead. It's kind of... We all appreciate that. a good dunk here and there on, like, really bad takes and stuff, but when you become, like in a position of you can't do anything but try and humiliate and, 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 and highlight all of the worst things ever to make yourself feel better. It's only a matter of time before everything tumbles down. And uh, Oh, yeah. It's it's just Ethan's reputation has only ever gotten worse. Uh, as someone who's just watching from the outside, it's just like, yeah, it just seems like as every day goes by, it gets worse and worse. And the fact that recently his own fans have eaten his fucking sponsors, it's just like, damn, dude. Yeah, imagine he, your your own fan base destroying your your revenue source. It's like, whoa! One yeah, because when when he when he said that it lost all his sponsors, he did blame it on his yeah his viewers. Can't blame it on someone outside the uh, the in group of dunking. That's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like they were all in on the like we're all the good people dunking on the bad ones, and now they've dunked on themselves, and so it's just like, huh? And that's why I think he was having trouble being critical of his audience because you don't. You don't want to be like, hey, guys, you're supposed to worship me. What the fuck? This is, uh, to me, uh, uh, to me, this is, uh, God damn it. why are you doing this to me? 
stupid computer. Well, it's not. I, this is the way I set it up. It's, it's me trying to now change it. Uh, this is uh, this is H three H three, dude. Uh, this is H three right now. It, there's no sound. <laughs> oh, fuck! You know what? I heard it perfectly without the sound. Anyway. I I did too, but there's no sound. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fuck now. Close it down. Now I need to reopen it. That's what she said. S stop. Okay, hammer time. God, why do you just automatically fucking take audio? And if I want to take the audio off, I'll untick it. Streamlabs, you are, I, I am on the verge of fucking canceling my fucking thing with you and going somewhere else. This platform Damn. is just getting fucking more shitty. Hasn't it always been like that? <laughs> well, they, they did it. Wait, you can now click, when you click onto a window, sometimes it will de facto that the audio is there. And then other times like this, you'll just be like, nah, mate. There's no audio. There's no audio. <laughs> there is no audio. Okay, right. Nobody, nobody gets to. Nobody gets to fucking watch anything. Right. Whoops. Okay. I even I ticked audio effort. as well. I even fucking ticked. Or. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. No, fuck it. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this through uh, through uh, YouTube instead. Fucking stupid software. People oh, are God. calling you Boomer in the chat. It's not just, his fault. Just, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not his fault. It's fucking StreamYard. Dude, Ricada rages like. about StreamYard audio issues all the time. Here we go. Here there's we go. A, there's a serious issue with this. I don't. So. There we go. It's fixed. Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's h 3 h 3 right now. Are we the baddies? Are we the baddies? And then, then you need the meme of the two guys on the moon with the guy pointing the gun at him and saying, you've been the baddie all along. Mm -hmm. And there you go. There's that one. Right. Um, do you want to hear, uh, before I go on with some more supers, do you want to hear Johnny, De uh, sorry, Johnny, in the Johnny Depp trial, do you want to hear Amber Heard's defense lawyer object to his own question yes i love it it's the best you're gonna get the audio on it <laughs> oh hail Mahler! damn we kind of need it for this one ads i'm just saying Mahler's. <laughs> a man of the people okay they need their audio <laughs> oh it's okay as it's okay <laughs> the deafening silence. <laughs> Are we done with the J and the Jeff? No, no. I'm learning. I, I well, not learning. I'm debating. Well, I'm working out my response to why do these people exist. Uh, um, oh, okay. Uh oh, which so people, I'm, Gary? That sounds me, kind of problematic. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my, you know, kicked out of three high schools, so I got to get my my grammar correct. That's always a little difficult for me, but I have a response. I okay, so let's just uh, we'll go up after the show. Don't don't uh, sue me, law and crime. Yeah, law and crime you know. might claim you for this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, might claim me with uh, not their own footage. Mm -mm. He didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on one of his well, fingers. Uh, rejection, Here's, hearsay. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay, he said he sustained a... How are you going to own yourself like that? <laughs> you were able to like get, get, just isolate the part where the judge says, wait, but that's your question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we gotta, we got we, we got to keep quiet there because she's quite low. I'm going to mute my mic. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, rejection, Here's, hearsay. But you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. Next question. Okay, he <laughs> sustained an injury to his finger. Yes. But you don't... 
Wait, 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 you asked the question. <laughs> it's just, it's just like you asked wait, the question. Wait, what? Yeah. You asked. Did, you asked the question. Did you, you, you? Did you guys watch some of that yesterday? Because uh, that guy was like <laughs> the butler. He was like the, the Alfred. Base butler. <laughs> yeah. yeah was... Just calling him based butler in the chat. Yeah, Chadler. <laughs> Chad, Ch Ch what is it called? It's Chad Butler. That's what he. Sh his name should be Chad Butler. Yeah, Chadler and Chad Butler. Just change, oh, just, so good. Just legally change his name to Chad Butler. Did you guys see that really hot uh, psychologist that was on the stand today? That chick yeah. was. Yeah. She was smoking. Man. I don't know. I felt I like she was like going to take off her glasses and like let down Whoa. her hair like on the stand. Like, yeah. I'd like to see her and an, an officer sexy have a mud wrestling competition. Hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think it's a way to solve who's who's guilty or innocent in this yeah. in this case. That's a way. Or Jello fight is even better because I feel like the mud is just like a little too. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like a Jello fight? It's sweet. It's gonna make it an oil fight at that point. Mm. Uh, I'd be worried of a naked flame. Then we'd have two Kentucky Fried women. We'll, we'll <laughs> just say no flames allowed. There's a Ryan. I just heard Ryan in my head. What's the problem with that? Yora <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Zuya with a twenty dollars says nowadays, uh, everyone has their own sort of Democles that's waiting for the string to break and come crashing down on top of them. Times have truly changed. Hail everyone and keep on keeping on. I think That's some true. people set Hell. their own up. Hmm. So, somebody oh, said... Dude, oh, yeah, sorry, Ethan took ahead, loads man. of time tying that thing up there. Mm. And uh, and then he just soared away at the rope <laughs> <laughs> while sitting underneath it. Somebody in the chat said pillow fight. Um, pillow fights can get really... like. Okay, I've been in a couple oh. pillow fights. And they can get. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I need my tissues with. Carry on. <laughs> they can get really intense and kind of painful because, like, you get like knocked out with a pillow, and like the just the full weight of the pillow hitting you. There's a lot of bouncing. So what you're saying? There's a lot of bouncing, and there's a there's a there's actually the ability to to knock a woman semi-conscious in the process. Yeah, it's it's pretty painful, man. It's uh, it can get shit can get real in a pillow fight, especially between girls, because we kind of like go at it like extremely, and then we don't oh know my. our own strength, so we're like kind of swinging the pillows everywhere. <laughs> no, no, just... you don't know your own lack of strength. But carry exactly, on. but we end up hurting each other, and then it gets real, and then we're like, "Bitch, that hurt!" And then it starts like being an actual cat fight because. Oh, the chat's saying, can you talk slower? They're not quite there. Yeah. <laughs> I just like that they have this 